people, what up world, what up Nigeria, what up everybody, you are welcome back to the number one, the number one, welcome back to the number one podcast, Zero Conditions Podcast. In the world. Shout out to everybody that has been listening, shout out to the people sharing the videos, shout out to the people supporting, shout out to the other podcasters that thought we were not coming back, we're back bitches. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Are you for real? I said it. Like, are you for real? I said it. Cash me outside. (laughs) Cash me on the ship to start chaos. It's easy. (laughs) I'm not going to do that. I said it's an idiot. I'm not going to do that. Chaos. It's easy. Meanwhile, how are we doing? Guys, it's it's been a great week, actually. Shout out to everybody that's been listening to us. We hit 1,000 on Instagram and and TikTok at the same time. Bro, the the videos were flying. I did did not know y'all love TJ Omori like that. The TikTok one is even almost 2,000. I think it's 1,900. 1,009 or 1,007 or something, yeah. 1,900 and something. So it's almost 2K. God in heaven. Yeah. Planning is so dramatic these days. Yeah. I'm, I'm 31 years it's old. Been, it's, been a, it's, been a, it's been a really good week. It's been a really good week. For the podcast, please be specific. For, for I no, no. It's been a good week for me. I started. Exactly. I, I went Speak to a new yourself. church. I started a new church. Why, why, why are you starting a new church? I went to... I, I now go to the Covenant Nation. What happened to your former church? Um, Nothing, to be honest. But I watch a lot of like Pastor Podri clips on YouTube. Pastor who? Pojo Oyemade. I hope I'm not spo- spoiling So you have, you have, you are not good to your oh. and, and then I'm, I'm very aligned with the things he's teaching. He's so. always trending. I've seen him trending a couple I'm very of times aligned on Twitter. Yeah, teaching, yeah. there's, no, there's, no, there's no some other personal decisions behind that. No. Funny are you sure? Yeah, no. there's a girlfriend attend the church. Keep it no, straight. she doesn't though. Alright, cool. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. For all that. She doesn't. Y'all don't think I love the Lord? <laughs> Going on? <laughs> why does? Why would there be an agenda? I, lo- I love the Lord that you said. I remember once in the coming to America, I remember I said, "I love the Lord. <laughs> if loving the Lord is wrong, oh I don't want to be right." Oh <laughs> yeah. Um, we have new ministers, forty-five of them, in the country. <sighs> Shout out to the new regime in full swing. I'm really in full swing. Uh, funny enough, guys, I actually had people that I know in Abuja help me reach out, but I haven't gotten feedback yet. So the new minister of creative, I forgot her hap. The, the, the woman. That woman. woman Hannah yeah. too. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not impressed. I, if you're watching this, I hope you come and clarify your position on this on this podcast. Yeah, so that's actually what I even did. I'm like, not, I'm uh, not that I want to have her on the I'm podcast. I'm not impressed. I don't think you deserve it. I'm but sorry. Atolani, oh. Fam, the creative industry is, is yes. suffering. What do you mean? <laughs> Just today. I don't give a shit. 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 I don't give a <laughs> that's you know, what, what made me go through the what list. The FCC, FCC. <laughs> they put him close. May no, may no go too that? far. They like, cause problems. No, is he that? not PDP? Is he no, not PDP? No. Yes, yes PDP, PDP now. now. But oh God, what are you saying? But now. didn't they align? It's a democracy. Do you understand? Like, I thought they didn't even <laughs> align. Bro, this countries. It's a democracy. So for those of you that are just that are just um, that are watching, is the minister of arts. Culture and the creative economy. Yes, Hanatsu Musawa. That's her name. They announced the shit. So when right? I saw it, my first reaction was, I I, not, I now like googled her name and I was like, oh, this is a woman from the north. Mm. I think I, I think her, her background is in is in oil and gas. And or she's something. Muslim, and I'm like, you give the creative sector. So a Muslim. So a Muslim another, woman another from Muslim. The north. Art, culture and the creative like, that's, economy. With a conservative. No, I, 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 I don't. I, Okay, hey, hey. but most likely, hey. let's be honest. Nah, they be freaking in the north. You have no idea. Oh God, we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Excel, can you focus? No, it's fine. I oh. know. Ah, I'm oh. telling you. <laughs> so, like, it's so disappointing because the the greatest export in this country right now is not crude oil anymore. I mean, mm. by f- by finances and by mm. revenue, it's definitely crude oil. But where the world is headed to, it's the <laughs> Afro- <creative> industry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, when I say creativeness, I don't just mean Afrobeats. I mean, cre- I mean, the I get industry, you. the fashion Nollywood. industry, Nollywood, Nollywood. There's Even so much. Tech, because there's a lot of creativity that has to do with tech. 
Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. But like, they had their minister that yeah. everyone is happy about. But they gave the, that guy a No, Boston. they gave yeah. it to Boston, yeah. Yes, they oh, did. And the tech world is so happy. And oh, he, obviously, he has shown working time and time again. So, yeah. Oh, mad. The tech industry is always ahead of the entertainment industry. It feels like they in found their person and they in put their thing. I went to, I went to, shout out to Chin. Chin invited me to this World Intellectual Property Organization thing, like two months ago and you can't believe that the tech space is they're already passing it they're getting a bill passed to law very soon hmm. do you understand yeah yeah but it's a bill like someone came to someone that who is my who is kind of my family member i don't want to mention the person's name yeah. who was like the person that helped them right yeah and the person was like the entertainment industry has we have a perception problem we are very idealistic people and we don't know when to align. Mm. To I, was, I was going to go there. I was going to go the there. The person said, Of which we suppose to align pass yes. for the racket. <laughs> I was going to go there. <laughs> if if they get Rico for this, for, the, for that, bro, <laughs> for the racket. We might just get it for the Rico. <laughs> oh, shout out, shout out Trump. <laughs> bro, oh, if you get Rico for this industry, oh, for, for this God. country, bro, I think there must be some form, something like Rico, Shabo, it might be different. Anyway, going back to this woman. Yeah. I, I did a thread when, when it was announced, I think earlier in the year. My problem is, the entertainment industry is a peculiar industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not even all young people, guys, you are texting. No, 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 no. No, I'm actually checking the oh, okay. list of the people not for even, you. Not even all young people can relate to the entertainment industry. No, oh, yeah. Not all under 35 people can relate to that industry. The industry is peculiar. Yeah. Like, you don't need someone that's going to judge people before they get there. Mm. You don't need someone that doesn't understand how the inner workings of the industry is. You don't need someone that's going to find a problem with people. Like, you want to impose your will. Like, the reality of that woman is definitely going to be different from the entertainment industry. I'm, it might mean that I'm stereotyping her. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Prove me wrong. I'll be happy to be proved wrong. So I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get her to, to know when she'll be in Lagos and get her on the pod. So the Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, but soon to, to join in, that's the one that they're all excited about. Ah. And, and from the way... Did you swear that he was never going to take office? Yeah, I was going to go to that conversation. And from the way, when he was, you know, announced to go defend himself, and people were like, oh, and people started bringing out... The Senate screening. The Senate screening. <laughs> I said defend himself. Senate screening. I mean, it's defend himself. Yeah, defend himself, yeah, actually. Exactly. I know, boss. <laughs> My point is, when he was announced, and people started bringing out his old tweets, yeah. and started saying, oh, this is not the person we but want to serve. why did he do that? Because he was attacking the government. The, he was attacking APC. Yeah. And the people, you know, aligned. And, you yeah. know, he had some opinions that could have been seen as problematic and not aligned with the current, the current administration. And people were mad about it. Do you want to go first? The thing that I love... I'm not... What's he going to you want, yes, I was just even know what I was saying. Where is he going? Go. <laughs> so, the, so the thing that I saw that I really loved about that entire situation was how the tech community rallied around him. Because they and, want their favors to get now. And aside from that, mm. obviously. Uh, aside from what? Let me be done speaking. But not they have favors to get. The like, fact that they were all able to align. Don't be naive, Melody. Don't you know, be naive. Let me be done, bro. Don't be Please, naive. Let me be done. My point in the conversation is that ah. the fact that they were all able to align and support him, I feel like because of the, the way their voice was really, really loud. And supporting him was if he was able to still go on with that cine screening now bring it to the entertainment industry mm-hmm. like bring it to ourselves like yeah. to this our own sector if it were the same situation if one person that they nominated they put more talent in it and <laughs> whiskey you know, they, they, they say they load now go out go and, do protest no, people are, they don't align uh, let me they tell don't you align let me tell you something. Do, you, do you think do you think any amount of of rebuke from social media would have made him drop out first of all the fact that the <laughs> The fact that Bro. so basically um the the fact that he made it to the screening means he was in. Yeah. Man, guy, do you think that John yeah. government or any government as a matter of fact what with social media pressured yeah. on that yeah. level? Yeah. And the things that they were bringing out, you were not bringing out demning evidence. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was you were nothing. bringing out Opinion. Things, very idealistic situations, which is probably the reason why it got there in the first place and anyway. The whole thing looked I don't even care to be honest. I don't even care to be honest. But, Bro, but the whole thing looked very um it kind of looked like very pre arranged. Yeah, I hear you. When during the screening, so he, they, when they told him to this, they got to some people. Him. They got some people to say, "Hey, you said this. You said this." He defended himself well, well articulately, yeah. and then um, the new senior president Akpabe was like, um, yeah, let's "You shall fuck up for year. But we you fuck up for you. year. But you know, you know, in the spirit of democracy, I'm moving the country <laughs> I forward." I think he's going to something yeah. about my father. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looked like, bro, 
Our politicians but, are not really. Are not, they are not always that composed. The whole thing looked too good. I was like, it's, mm. it's, it's composed. It's though. also this smells like uh, that thing is also that thing is also it's also an appointment for the optics. Oh yeah, 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 and every government needs one now. Do you understand? Yeah. Every government this, needs this one. This one just gets more than the previous one. Every government it's needs one. It's an appointment one. for the optics in terms of. Like, was, did that Bro, like, imagine. How powerful, how powerful was <laughs> but, that? But, but Tinubu, is, they do the workshop because, first of all, you align with tech industry, you give them you their weapons. You can't knock a Mifile for the one side. A Mifile who was like the biggest wahala of the, of the tech. Up. <laughs> of the tech like industry. I, I saw Bro. a video of him in the courthouse and he was making a video of hiding under the table. He was hiding under the table making a call. You know me reading yeah. lips. Like, you know me reading You know me reading So read he lips. was bending and people were trying to protect. Do you know Do how... Do you guys think that guy's going to go to prison? Well, I, I can't tell. Not. Because I this... This, this, an agenda this regime yes. is very in interesting. And the things that they even <laughs> This regime is very interesting. They want, they want some Every fight didn't make it, bro. bro. Every fight didn't make no, it no, to no, the but, minister but thing but and he I, pulled out. What I read was that he pulled out, yeah. But he pulled out because his name didn't get cleared to go for the screening. What I read was he said he didn't want to do it. No, no. Melody. His name was sent for... Was supposed, he was supposed to be there for the screening. So yeah. the DSS... I mean the SSS, rather. Screens the names and everybody who has been selected before yeah. approve then they approve it and the senate will now call them for screening mm-hmm. his name did not make it past the sss his name did not make it past then it was then maybe like a week later he now pulled out and i i think i read somewhere that he's going to further his studies abroad <laughs> of course it's good like b- uh, well hell no, I don't yeah want to say by the by, <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we love you Daddy, we love you. <laughs> Daddy, what? Daddy, we appreciate you. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, it's been a very it's just, interesting. It's just, it's just interesting. We <laughs> thought we were going to war. Apparently, we are not. Oh, we're not Let's going to war. The uh, Senate shut it. We have never. The Senate shut it down. We didn't speak about it. Let's talk about yeah. it. So, yeah. So our our president. It feels like our president is, is aligning. Aligning is not even what I want. <laughs> Is shall we put what, that allegedly what? here and there? Do you understand? <laughs> Just the SP is cool. Like. <laughs> no, I don't need to. Use allegedly. Use allegedly. Like. Please, if you want to carry it anybody, carry like, only yeah. in my bag. From the facts that we've been gathering, from different Which articles. So there was an article that um, David, David Dunay posted some days ago uh. that someone wrote, and I believe it's an American publication, that the guy went into like history charges and all of a sudden how they let him go, how the president has been an informant for the FBI or the CIA. Yes. Mm. Which no. Ah. You know, you know, you know any time they President Bola yeah. has been an informant. Yeah. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. According to that article. For the FBI and the CIA. Or, or the CIA, one of them. For the past I like, didn't see it too. Since like the 90s. Even today he's always on something. Like, he's always saying something. Them, apparently, apparently he even lied to them at some point, so they knew they know he's not trustworthy. Allegedly. I didn't read, I didn't read it actually. I didn't that school is very crisp and straight to the point. I didn't read so it. So the, the tenet of that school is the that school didn't explicitly say it, but what that school was saying the gist is uh, that our president is allegedly uh-huh. reportedly Report- reportedly <laughs> Um, and an instrument of war by the West. So, so what's what's the so what are they trying to get from that? What's so you, the one thing we need to understand is this. Let's break it down to the to the to the nitty gritty. Africa is the place where nobody has really there. There are different world powers. Right? There's a power from the West. I mean, from the from the East, which is like China. There's a power from Europe, which is like Russia, and then there's America, right? It's, it's, it's not colonialism anymore. It's neo-imperialism in the sense that nobody is saying you are a slave. Yeah. Taking you somewhere. Or we're not going to allow you to lead your government. But it's proxy power. It's proxy wars now. Yeah. Right? Um, Prigozhin is allegedly one of the people, one of the instruments of war that Russia has used to charge in Niger. The guy that almost, <laughs> that wanted to keep Putin. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Tolani. <laughs> in the fear Putin too. Ah, bro. <laughs> yeah, person they made Wagner. <laughs> Wagner, go your pull up for Mendy. But both the child does release the statements. We don't know them. Mm-hmm. Wagner. Oh, oh quack. my God. Quack. Bro, anyway. So, like China, what China is doing is it's a lot of businesses. They're investing in the economy. They are, they are, countries are owning them um, 
death. And from death, you are buying into the company. You're having way more influence. That's why allegedly that's what America did. Have you read this book, Confessions of an Economic Hitman? Yes, like I book, did actually in, like in political science. I, we had to read it. That book is like it gives you insights into how companies operate. Mm-hmm. Like you owe them debts and they start buying into your company from there. They little by little. What to do. Yeah. yeah. You can't pay them back those debts. Yeah. Right? So, like different countries. I feel like Africa is divided into three three countries. I feel, I believe, I think it's the US, China, and Russia. That's what, no, that's what it is. Those are the people that control Africa. Yeah. Right? And so, China and Russia have now aligned. Exactly. So, for example, you see, like, uh, Mali is denouncing uh, France now. Yep. And yep. The streets is that they've allied with, with Russia. With Russia. Right? And all of these countries are military hunters. Um, no. They, they rule them. Like, they have been cools in some of these countries in the last few months. Didn't they say they're no longer speaking French in Mali now? Yeah. Something yeah. like that. That's, they, don't, they don't align with Russia. You know? So, like, the, what are the streets is that? What's happening in Niger? Yeah. It's Russia versus America. So what's it concerned us? Like, because you are you're an American ally and your president is allegedly a crony for US. And it's allegedly like I've seen I've seen conversations on Twitter and also like overheard it overheard these kind of conversations in different places where, people, was, man. where people are 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 of the opinion that um, see how they pick my English. Make you understand? It's quite. Everyone have the opinion that one, um, in some corners, it is it is believed <laughs> that because the the sitting president is still in court over the whole election, yeah. yeah. So there is a air of uncertainty of uncertainty, and maybe there are people who feel like he is an illegitimate president on the throne. Okay. And in a bid to allegedly cement his his place, place. he's He's aligning aligning with the West and say, "Hey, you wanna go knock off some people over there?" So it's supposed to be, I got your, I got your your back, you got my back back back, uh, as well. But what what the history is that he's always been aligned. I always been aligned. But right now, what what the article actually said? Allegedly, article. (laughs) What the article said was. Because, like, in the cases against him, like, he cleaned money from, for a cartel, allegedly. Huh. That's what for the article said. Like, no, for real. Read the article. Like, he cleaned money for a cartel. Like, they even gave us dates when the accounts were open to people that were convicted. By the way... How he then came, when, it was, when it was time for him to be allegedly to be convicted. I think, I think you can remove allegedly for Nigeria. this one. Do you understand? There are court records. They are because there are court yeah. records. And okay. even during this... Um, court case you know they've they are just waiting for judgment yeah. now so like closing arguments or whatever you guys we keep putting allegedly we're in nigeria That's the, character 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 assassination yeah tinibu's, allegedly. tinibu's one of his lawyers in court said okay listen yes he did move that dope it's over it's over 10 years ago and even and in the country bad. where he moved that dope Statue of Limitation. Statue bad. Yeah, so, you wow. know. Um, wow. But yeah, man. It's, it's, it's a fun time to be a Nigerian. Yo, yo, the yo, yo, yo. We are a very interesting, con- we're a very interesting very country. Weird. Nigeria is full bluefin. We are very interesting Where people are quacking each other from behind. We're very quacking. We are very interesting Bro, interesting people, are, people remove my dingo, they fuck this country. There's certain things that, that I see or I read about Nigeria. I'm like, is this a country? Bro, you see Naramari becoming... Guys. <laughs> let's just get into that. Let's, guys, let's just, just go. Is this a real country? <laughs> So Naramali uh, paid a visit to NDLEA. For those of you who may not know what NDLEA stands for, oh, this is know? the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. Mm-hmm. Um, so if there, if there was ever a day your Igbo man could not pull up, those are the niggas behind that. Um, he said why he was there. And he paid a court TV visit there and also... I uh, made a video while he was there. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't even believe what he was saying. Advising, like advising Nigerian youth. <laughs> advising Nigerian youth to stay away from drugs. Stay away from hard drugs. Yeah, and this was his message to the people. He didn't look like he believed what he was you, saying. Do you know how... And another thing is that some people were calling him NDLA ambassador. I was just like, why? I mean, he looked like an ambassador. He lo- they didn't I, announce I him as that, but... You use the biggest face of waywardness 
no or really, so for no. people for people who are upset they're upset for different reasons you know his music how he speaks about you know why are people upset that's that why is he the face yes, why is he the one there is when he has but he's like wasn't he like the biggest i don't know if he's the biggest when he has spoken about this since in his music yeah I think he said he was, he was never good people brought that tweet that tweet yeah i saw that yeah. tweet but it's weed it's a band substance yeah, yeah the see, law is the law again, is very clear again oh what we did again like the idea of him being the one to say that i think is even believable because it's coming from, from the him. No, it's not believable. maybe not believable so. but he, he the maybe target audience the maybe target like, audience yes. for that message and the LA reached he, it he yeah. Wants to, because yeah if it was if you imagine if it was like people people would be like we don't like, even know that i'm not i'm not like or message you <laughs> Maybe like a, maybe like, like a gospel or, artist. Or, like, or, or, or a do sing. Or a do sing. People won't even listen. They won't listen. The target audience won't even listen. Do you understand? So I think that he's the yeah. perfect person to I have that conversation. Actually. Do you know yeah. other person that they could have used? I... Portable. Zanku. Um, Zlatan. Yes, no. mm. I think it would have been a or better... Or even Portable fit. self. <laughs> better, portable. Yeah. Portable is not... It's not... It's not... It's not corporate, corporate enough. Yeah, it's not yeah. corporate enough. Yeah, not corporate but I, enough. I think Naramali is the is the perfect person to use for yeah. that conversation. But you didn't seem people. convinced by what he was saying. Bro, That's my own. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, did you see the later part of that video? I saw it. He didn't seem convinced by what he was saying. I saw it. Bro, this country in a blue field. In order, so, DK was upset. By the way, did you guys? Yeah, why? Why so upset? So, so DK. Yeah, she, 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 she talked so about upset? it. She was like, "Oh my god." Did that? Why... Did that? Did that fall off? No, she was, she was like, she was upset she was to like, NDLA. Why did they use? Yeah, maybe upset. they don't arrest Adila before. It was very emotional that why are they using that this is not the person they should use or stuff like that. Yeah. I mean it's activism, bro. That's strong. I wish I had the best. Continue. Hi. Everything's activism to line. <laughs> anyway. You know what should have you know what called what should have had activism done for? That single she released under the band. Aye. Aye. Yeah. Bro. Should have I mean, called for a protest. Affliction may never rise again. Bro. That Bro, was, does, she, does that baby still tweet? That song was, was horrible. That, I think that, that's tweet. the first celebrity that Nigerian, Nigerian Twitter bullied repeatedly. Bro, they knock her soul. Are you serious? I when never, the, I never yeah. used to tweet. When that single came Don't out. Let. I know they knocked her for the single, but I you know they used to knock her. My too. God. Bro, it was bloody for like three days. Are you serious? Hey. Did you drag him out and he dragged Genevieve? Even she's like, no more being you. No, they didn't drag Genevieve. They didn't drag Genevieve. They didn't drag Genevieve. They didn't drag Genevieve. That was much earlier. Bro, that was much earlier. Bro, this one earlier. a full dragging. They drag, ah. Uh, <laughs> no, I know they dragged that. I remember. You know that, that this thing, Afro beat news. Did you guys see? You know, before we get there, that we still don't discover that. Allegedly. allegedly. Bro. It's allegedly too. We don't know now. It's not. It's no, obvious that posted it too. It's not just okay. It's not obvious. Obvious. It doesn't mess around like that. Anything you just be put in allegedly, whatever. As yeah. so long as person has not come out to confirm, it's just so allegedly. I mean, we wish with kids family um condolences. Yeah. 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 Except our condolences and this he's time. always been very um vocal about his love for his mom. Yeah. yeah. So made a song about her that mo- mommy yeah. When I was a little boy, mama told mommy. me. No, that's all. Mommy, me, mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy, yeah. That one too. That one too. That one too. Rest in peace. I care for my mommy. Oh, no, like, it's, not, it's not me singing about it's not it's, it's he had a song about his mom says this in recent times rest in peace that's yeah. that's a tough one bro a tough one please. like uh, we are david fc or what's their name tati bg which one is david fc <laughs> what join there was there was a time last year that they wished death upon this woman i'm sure some of them are celebrating did they yes yeah. so I can't remember. I still it's not like all those they, ugly they, people. Bro, those no, ugly I feel like most of the time when these guys say this, they don't even mean it. What? Why are you even saying it, man? I don't why are you care saying it? You just say those things for traction. I don't even know why they do why those things. Like, man, man anyway, I wish you a, a lot of you will have children. Your children will see what you tweeted when you were in your so weird. If, and Wiz, if Wiz wanted to release an album before very soon, that album ain't coming out this year. Yeah. You know, he posted a video where he was saying, let's go get the album. First is first. Don't believe Wiz when it comes out to say it. How uh, many times now? We should but did you see better. the reaction to that? How do, when people were talking about I mean, the album it, and saying it why? It didn't really, it didn't really post. It didn't, it, the year he said he was going to release more of Let's Go is when he released it. Yeah. So people have a tendency to believe him now. No, aside from that, I'm get. talking about the reaction to him saying he wanted to release an album. And people were like, why? Why? Oh. No, Mall I think Let's Go is an album now. Mall of Let's Go didn't exactly perform up to standards. So people are like, that's why she shouldn't release an album yet. Yeah. That's one reason why he should release an album. Yeah. We live in an industry where people, you have released a single that's popping, but it was seven months ago. People are telling you, release another one. Bro. Have you forgot what Joe Boy told us on the spot? Bro. 
Bro, the pressure is getting worse. Uh. Yeah. Man, so we were back to this governance issue, right? Did you guys see the thing that David Duda posted? Did you agree? What, what do you think about? What did he say? What did that he thing say? that he posted, the war stuff that he posted. <laughs> Where he posted, no, I, I think that, I know what you're referring to. Where the one he posted, we because we talked about this man here. Yeah. Where he posted the yeah the the war the, the, the what, private it, memo yeah, the confidential yeah. memo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I would that say one from the government. Yeah. Anyway, we were dragging him for doing that. Let's, let's quickly go on a break and we'll get back to that. Hi guys, we're going on a break now. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. The conversation continues. You can catch the full thing on Monday on YouTube and other streaming platforms. See you soon. So yes. Yeah. Um. So you were saying you were doing that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he, the whole Tinubu is calling on the military to enter Niger was like a rumor. Yeah. Right. It was like a rumorish thing, and then I think David Ondei put out a confidential memo on Twitter that the the that order has more or less been given. And that the generals have been told to more or less be on standby. Um, Allegedly. And whatnot. So when it came out, there there were two sides to the conversation for David Hunday. There were people who were like, okay, David, we get it. You're trying to keep us in the loop, but But you're crossing a line here. This could be, this is a military operation now. This could be considered as treason. Yeah. You know, you posting, putting stuff like this on the internet. And then there were people who were like, um, fuck your niggas. When, uh, we're, going, we're not going to a war. David is fighting for the people. Both, yeah. are, both of and them then, are right. Both of them, yeah. <clears throat> it's a situation where both sides are actually equally true. Yeah. But what, to what good is the posting of the stuff on I mean the David knows I mean, that this is not stuff he could do if he was if he within was visible, Nigeria yeah. and also he, he can also argue that he posted that for awareness of Nigeria are we are we are we come like, in if, if they were going to go on that thing I, I'm not very sure of the facts but we only have had to go to the Senate anyway and the Senate members of the Senate are not stupid to approve such like you are bringing war to your country and bro Russia the back may pre in can invade Lagos is that what but, people want? But, but guys, where do, where do people draw the line with investigative journalism? Because a lot of times people say that as an ethics. investigative journalism, ethics. you're the, allowed the, to go to jo- the extreme. Ethics. That's no, where journalism is going. Journalism ethics. as, as a whole has its own there code ethics. of ethics. There are ethics. Um, aside from the issue of treason alone, like there was the angle of you are revealing too much about the Nigerian military and putting them in danger. Um, the thing about people is when you are you hone in on, on your on your crafts, you sort of sometimes it's fine to you make mistakes. Everybody does. You know, it's fine. Um, I just didn't think that thing should have been posted on Twitter. Like I get the intention. The intention was inform um, inform people, yeah. let them know what they're getting yeah. into, right? I get yeah. all of it. Yeah. Which is not wrong. But the people that are also saying you shouldn't have posted it, they're not wrong either. They're not wrong either, yeah. Both sides of They're not wrong at all. Yeah. No, no, both of them are right. I just found the whole thing very interesting. Um, well, it just showed that a lot of Nigerians also don't understand the reality of the situation. Like, they don't, they don't, like, look at Eddie Snowden, for example. What he posted was very, in some in some ways, was very right. Or Chelsea Manning, right? Mm-hmm. What they posted, the things that they leaked, they leaked. I think this guy leaked the um, the rumored um, echelon type of computer that was looking at private, um, invading invade people's privacy. Private, yeah. Right? Um, that's what Eddie Snowden revealed. But at the end of the day, it was still wrong. Do you know why? But I don't like people like Eddie Snowden. Just full disclosure. I can't stand them. I think, yeah. I think, I think you need to be able to separate between your idealism and what is necessary. That the idea of that computer came in after the what is it called? After 9/11. 9/11. 9/11. 9/11. And And America needed to be more on more high alerts. Yeah. Um. And it be, I think it got worse. I think after that Boston bombing situation, the Boston Marathon, um. And I think every, everything just went through the roof. And mm-hmm. another thing, someone like Chelsea Manning, people keep. I listened to the, to the Daily some months ago, where someone was talking about why could low level um military officers have access to such data, me, have access to such amounts of data, mm-hmm. and the reality of the matter was, they said that during 9 11 that the FBI knew that. People, people, those guys entered the country. 
But because Man. you know, there's always competition between all the all, all the agencies, yeah. right? That's why they now have this um, exactly that joint as well. Exactly. So they had all of the like the F- I, I believe it was the FBI that knows that that terrorists were in town, but they did yeah. share the intel okay. with the CIA. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back. In case you missed any of this, the full thing is out on Monday. We were just discussing about revealing confidential information as, as, a, a, di- journalist. as a journalist. Wait, should you do it? Should you not do it? Using David Hondey as a case study. You can catch. You can catch any of that that was just spoken about on Monday when the full video and audio comes out. So, um, like the like. I believe it was FBI, if I'm not wrong. I think FBI, FBI knew that was the goal, but because a lot of them, are, they're always in competition. Yeah. Like, everybody will say, oh, it's our case town, oh, it's your case town, like DEA and FBI and local police, they're yeah. always fighting over cases. So everybody, they want to be, they wanted to be the ones to actually get the information or whatever. But if they are communicated to the CIA, the CIA would have t- told them that these people are not people to be fucked with. Mm. Hmm. You know? So... Before, like, it was after that they were finding this stuff out. So, I think the American government have, like, a central database now where all the details are coming into, all the files, everything that you need are coming into so people can have access to actually pull sensitive information out. Mm. So, but my problem with people like this is what is privacy that's not keeping you safe? Nobody gives a shit about, it, about your news that you're sending out. Do you understand? Yeah. All this privacy that people are talking about. Bro. I get that the fact that you're saying it should be regulated. I get the regulation yeah. part, but the, at the end of the day, this shit is about keeping you safe. That's what that's what people who are in support of David Unde too can say. No, no, no. Like, I get, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm yeah, not, I'm not saying that. That's yes, yeah, exactly. But that there, there, there has to be lines when lines. The things are, yeah. they are releasing. I agree. There has to be lines. I agree. Because at the end of the day, for a lot of people, it then goes beyond what they are fighting it now becomes like about their ego which is where the problem is and also i think that another another angle that we people forget to mention is that the, the major reason you know he's able to even give us all this information all this scope all this analysis is because he's not in nigeria and yeah. sometimes it is it's easy and for nobody us to knows forget. where he is i think it's, it's easy for, for us to forget that sometimes people are using their privileges for for the good of the people mm. Jonathan, yeah. because you know that journalists on ground cannot share those I stories. do worry for him a bit, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not even in this particular context, but in context of him being a social media hero. Yeah. yeah. Because that thing is Me like too. a drug. Yeah. Mm. And you will cross lines without knowing that you that are crossing cross lines. lines. Because and people slip keep saying, slope. because are right. the truth is that yeah. whether we like it or not, this thing he did was crossing a line. Yeah. yeah. We like it, Chad, because it's on our side. Yes, yeah. and instead giving us information. We people's side, allegedly. Yeah. 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 We like, yeah. but it shall cross a line. They catch him legally. They go knock him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but when you keep crossing lines and there's no checkmate, nobody's checking you and you keep. You don't know you when know, you go to the. Edge. You don't know when you go to the yeah, to the deep end. And it's not even about investigative journalism generally. Um, it's not just about investigative journalism. It's a general thing for people who are very interested and very particular about being social media heroes mm-hmm. or being loved on social media or just tweeting or just playing to the gallery for social media. It's a very slippery slope. Most of those people that go on that lane never come back. No. Because they always just want to go. Yeah. They always just want to and look they don't, for they something. Don't realize. They don't do you understand. They always and sometimes they may have a different opinion about something, but they know that, that thing does not fit their aesthetic or the image they've created on social media. So they have to align. So just keep going. Because oh, so sometimes you see some things and you be like, what's this one saying? Oh. This, I'm speaking generally <sighs> across the board. Literally everybody does it. Jonathan. And it's like Sometimes you can see this person's Twitter and you can see that I don't think you agree. Oh. I can see you but struggling. We, we, yeah. we see that you have to align because you want to, you know, pander yeah. to your, to so your you audience. Agree. So you think... A lot I, of it, your... it, Shut it, up. It, it does happen a lot. Yeah, just, it does. Just because, and, you know, people now, there's this, like, overshare. Overshare. Like overshare thing or just marking my engagements for the day thing. It's both. No! It's actually both. <laughs> it's even both. Speaking Is of oversharing, did you see that, that social media conversation about the girl, the first daughter that was talking about her never cooking for her dad? Yeah, I saw it. We are guessing it's for that. I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think, let me, let me, it. Pu- let me pull up tweet. the tweets. Let me pull up the tweets. Read the tweets. For people that did not see it, for people who are not on social media, right? There's one insult that girl chopped from somebody. No, she chopped a lot of insults. No, there's one in particular. I will find it and read it. Okay. That is legendary. Okay. It's both her and her father. That, like, that the, chop is... The insults are like, oh my <laughs> God. Two, two, two. Okay, so she said, 
started um i started rebelling against this first daughter shit in 2020 my mom got an apartment so she could be closer to work so i was home with my dad and brother she called me one time because my father complained that i don't cook and she told me that i'm supposed to take her spot when she's not around i have never been that confused in my life take your place as how namigo marry or what i was 18 fighting online online classes for my life from that point i just stopped cooking entirely i wouldn't leave my room before 2 p.m either all man for himself my brother too went to call her that i don't cook anything at that point i increased pressure i started buying coke for only me when my mom came back she told my brother how to fry plantain and my father started cooking too now my brother does not need anybody to cook for him i don't do that shit either if you can't cook starve and people started dragging her for saying that she stopped cooking for her dad and her brother and they asked to learn how to cook let's shall all be thanking god for privilege that these are your problems Mm. Yeah, that is a problem. I don't have thought what there are families that would happily she been not to cook. Not to get the cook. provision to cook. Um, I saw the tweet and I was like, my first reaction to that was I quoted the tweet. I was like, all of us will have our own children, mm-hmm. and <laughs> thankfully, we are in the internet age, so our children will also come online. Yeah, and they will see the things that we have tweeted in the past. Would they be proud of it? And I don't know, is, would they be proud of it? Care they will. They go. They will use it against you as a parent now. But what's your take on that tweet? I feel like the tweet was one hundred and ten percent very unnecessary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do actually. I feel like that, and I feel like people know how to word tweets to provoke a certain mm-hmm. reaction or mm-hmm. trigger. Mm-hmm. So clearly. That girl doesn't actually have a problem cooking for her father. Mm-hmm. I don't think she does. I think the conversation, I think a conversation was led to that particular tweet, which is about like this whole cooking for men and whatnot. And it was a thing in that particular story. She's like, okay, mom, she has moved away because of her job somewhere else. Now I'm cooking for the whole house. Yeah. I have my own things to be doing. Why can't everybody learn how to cook, learn how to cook and whatnot? when you start putting and you you know when people are looking for drama from the phrases they use um she nami maria i'm or what that's your father see listen listen that's your father you're talking about like you're not beefing him okay he's upset that he didn't cook for him that you didn't you didn't cook for him fine your father is from another era <laughs> that's even your mom is from another era like I get that there are certain things parents do that are toxic to children and we should call them out sometimes. But this is... If this is your problem, you don't have problem. Okay. Your parents are from a different era where certain things were done certain way. And okay. now we are reinventing the wheel. Okay. How did it go? Talk. I, I hear you when you say that the parents are from a different era because I feel like it's even a broader conversation. It's like how people were trying to hold Peter Doche to certain standards and saying, why no, did he say this dumb. about women? That like, was yeah. stupid. Maybe you should have the same conversation with your dad at home. I'm sure he'll probably say the same thing. But I, looking at that, at that tweet holistically, it was beyond not cooking for your father. It was more Her about... brother, the whole house. Even, it was even beyond that. It was, it was holistically talking about the boarding that comes with being a first daughter. And if you're not a first daughter, if you're not a woman, you might not understand what she's talking about. But that is deep-rooted burden and trauma that a lot of first daughters have to deal with, even upon leaving the home. It's not about cooking. Generally, a lot of first daughters are settled with the responsibility of taking care of the family. They're like of a growing, junior mother. Yes, of growing, of, you know, we make children, we, they lose their childhood and they become adults way too quickly. Yeah. So it's not just about cooking, it's about the burden of being a first daughter and expecting them to be and mothers. The, and a lot of, because the parents are also growing at the time, they get a lot of the pressure. A lot of the pressure. These people sometimes never experience being a child. They never experience being a teenager. They like just they grow taking care from, of their father, taking care of their siblings. It's, it's burdening. And when people are talking about it, I'm just laughing because you're not a woman. You don't understand what that goes, what goes into that. It's a lot of pressure. Now, these people even sometimes miss out on their own childhood. They don't. They never got the time to be children, this and they carry those humanity. things. They carry those things into their their, their life into how they navigate relationships. Just to see them, you know, dating people where they, that they have to father, they have to mother. It's just a lot of trauma that she's unpacking. You're not wrong. But again, this is what your parents knew. Do you understand? What you're talking about is something that has been done since Eze goes to school. Does it mean it should continue? No, no, but they don't know. See, they don't know any better. Yes. That, you see that should one? Should we stop them? Should we vilify them? Yes. Yeah. Vil- they they vil- they yeah. They're hurting you. Yes. They because they, they are also did you. it. They think they're training you. And I think one thing that we forget to do as Gen Zs, as millennials, is to cut our parents from slack. 
We don't. Wow. We don't. A woke person just said that. We d- a what? This was the time. A, what did you call me? A woke person. We don't. And I think that the only time we get to realize that it has, is as oh, we get parents. older. Not even that as we no, get older. We as I think I've told you as, before that as, as I go older, I, I, it's I started like coming down. You begin down to see that way too. This thing where they complain about. Uh, so experience is the best teacher. I understand the trauma. I understand where she's coming from. Not about cooking. It's a first daughter trauma. Yeah. It's traumatizing. But yeah. also, they sometimes parents don't even know any better. And the only way to make them know better is to rebel. I promise. I, 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 it's to they, rebel. No, that one they That one they Sometimes, <laughs> you as, have a, to as children, you put your feet down if with your not, parents by They go just, they go. They go just, they go. You quarrel and come back to love. Yes. It's a, it's it's a, a rebel thing. quickly. It's all of your rights. The angle that I want to bring yeah. it is a lot of young women yeah. have no sense of responsibility. Hmm. Ooh. The cooking has started. Ooh. Just, can you sprinkle some salt in here? I'm not cooking. Like, You're not. So I see it's as I get in this perspective when I when I would see a lot of people online. Yeah. Like saying, I don't want to cook for my husband. Like first is first. What is wrong with cooking for your husband? Let's be honest. Someone, someone quoted that bit today and said, what's wrong with cooking for your father? Do you understand? But I get your perspective. Yes, because yes. Because it's a lot. It's a lot. Daughter. Yeah. I get it. It's not just right? about cooking, yeah. But a lot of girls, because yeah. social media has taught you that you don't have to do this. Or everything is activism. Exactly. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. You have to do that. You now use that as an, as an opportunity to check on your responsibilities. Let's not lie. As a child, you have responsibilities in your house. As a human being. That's not ever going to change. We all have responsibilities. So the house is like a society. Yes. And everybody has control. You have a role to play. Do you understand? Fam, there was a morning when I didn't watch my father's car and he came to beat me. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, so I was, I woke up, I woke up late. No, we fought with the night before he spoke to me and I was very angry. Mm-hmm. So I went to bed and I intentionally woke up late, like one hour late. So I think I was 13 or 12 or something. And I woke up and I saw him watching the car. Mm-hmm. I asked him to give it to me. I said, I'm sure no. you just walked out. And I, walked, and I walked back inside. And he came to me and wired my belt. Like, he later apologized to me. But I get the point I was trying to make. The point wasn't this thing that he did is wrong. It's because you need to have a sense of discipline. Let's not even talk about the bigger. But Tanani did not finish that, that conversation about okay, you sorry, saying finish. that women don't have sense of responsibility. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah that's it's, true. It's, 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 like a sense of responsibility. I think a lot of people that say they use activism. A lot of people use activism to cover the fact that they don't want to do anything. <laughs> no, for real. They use activism to cover the yeah. fact that they don't want to do anything. Hmm. So which part is activism now? No parts for them. It's just the fact that they, they are lazy. They want to be in the streets all day. They want to, be, yes. Or they don't want to come home. They feel they like they should be home. free. Do you understand? Mama said, like, America, they tell you, say, come home before the street like you. They want to come when the street are on. So that I'm going to come on tiny one. They want to enjoy. Do you understand? <laughs> so like, or Man, they no, just don't I want to cook. See, see, I, and it's their choice. I'm not saying, but what if they just don't want to cook? Melody, there's Why no problem. A big deal? There's no problem with you saying you don't want to cook. There's no problem. Usually when you can afford it. There's Isn't no, that why you work? There's no problem. No, so here's there's a reason. Eh? That so this was what I was about to say. There's yeah. a reason. There's a bigger picture yeah. to why house chores psychologically children need it, need them. Yes! Oh. It of course, I understand it. Oh, yes. I understand children doing our chores. Definitely. You no, know, talking about grown women deciding not to cook, not children. No, 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 I'm talking about people as children now. Like, not wanting to do all of this. It's a lack of sense like, of Like, children not wanting to do house chores. Yes. Are you talking about children? When you say women are talking about... No, I'm sorry. You, when you were talking about women, do you mean like 18, 15 years I mean, old? I mean women, a class of women grown that are women. growing up now okay. that don't want to have anything to do with house chores. It's a whole thing. That's grown women. Yeah. Oh. No, not even... Like, oh, yeah, yeah. All, these, all these women... Younger like this, for example. Okay. Yeah, At no, 18. No, 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 let me tell you something. You know that's like just so what you're talking about is like working class women. No, baby, no, no, no. no. Jo- like from young, young like teenagers, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 year old girl. I've probably been on Twitter since she was 14. 
Oh, so she's been she done she's the been eat, imbibing she's things. Done the eat, the Do meal, you understand? The meal. She's been imbibing things. And let's not like social media shapes people. It does. The people that propagated I don't want to cook on social media are privileged kids. Do you understand? They are privileged kids who from young they never had to cook. They had a chef. They had maids that were washing their clothes. They never had to do no fucking chores. Or some of them spend their entire life doing chores and they grow up to women that said they will never do chores again. Melody, a lot of the loudest voices about this thing. There's no chore that they are doing. That they will not do when they are older. No, no, no. There's no chore that they are doing that is as crazy as what their mothers did. Or their... Bro, technology has advanced by far. Cooking is easier. Like... You are not washing. Well, uh, you are not even washing plates. Uh, there's poundo. How many people are pounding? She be there's poundo now. Yeah, How many people are actually boom, boom, boom? How many people? Eh, yeah. so yeah. like so there's a, I be you kill chicken. But this I beg you because this girl you, are you are you building houses with your hands? Are you doing the, the, the are you going to war like your father? Are any, you carrying cut last to the but that I'm not I'm not the difference between see, the difference there is that I'm not saying I don't I'm I'm shanking any any response. I can actually cook. I no, cook. I'm even saying I don't yeah, think our, our mothers used to do, our fathers don't, all those things our fathers used to do. You know part of the do. problem? Young men don't do it. No, so what's the Melody, you're not, actually you not wrong. You're actually not hands? wrong. And let me give you a Can fact. You let, you're not wrong. Let me even give you facts to go with your point. Mm-hmm. The reason why we have stupid conversations like this on Twitter is because we don't have privilege. It's because, no, we are in, this, we are in the most is, peaceful era of the yeah. world. That we are like in the most peaceful era of the world. Do you think people in Russia are not talking about this? If you break out, do you think you're going to war? <laughs> Who's going to they go to say, war before you? You don't you? like now men. Me, I mean, I mean, I mean. End men. Men are trapped. Let's war break out you, now. I want to see you carry Let's war break out now. What so a, we're, what, we're, what, we're, what, we're very happy, we're comfortable. It's like a dollar rate. The only is not problem is it's not affecting people problem. enough. It's not affecting people enough. We'll tell uh, who is in charge of uh, CBN now to turn it up some more. <laughs> turn up the volume. <laughs> so that uh, we like we so I feel like I feel like that's problem. I feel like that's a larger conversation. A lot of girls have imbibed things from social media. I now have a reality distortion. Yeah. They don't understand that you need house, you need to have house chores. I think um, these days these days I'm even more very worried about the gender conversations because like men keep going more to one side yeah, and women, women keep, keep going, going more side, to the yeah. other there's side. There's no middle. There's, there's no, no middle, middle ground. ground. And, I thought I thought we, I thought we got a dating, point of middle ground. And that's no, why dating these days is trash. Yeah, bro, dating these days is like playing chess online <laughs> with somebody you are not really like. Dating is like everybody's like so guarded. First off, did you see that sc- that thing that someone just posted? Right? You posted it about oh my God. what relationship? See if you can dating. find it. That guy. De- like dating now, people are so guarded. People have walls, and then there's this whole thing that people are doing generally. Yeah. And I'm seeing women do it more. I might be wrong, so Melody, please help me correct if I'm wrong. <laughs> is this whole look for that take me as I am? This is who I am. Take me as I am. This is who I am. Take me as I am. Someone, someone has a question. What's the worst part of dating in this generation? This yeah. guy said fundamentalism. Especially in the educated middle-class circles. Dating was once a curiosity-driven, gracious affair. Now it's a trauma-informed, rigid vetting system. Jesus. You don't Jesus. get the benefits of the doubt. No classless, no grace, just caution. And we can't, caution. Just caution. And we can't agree to disagree anymore. It has to be my way or your way. Anything else is toxic. And if you are if you are the patient one who's keen on finding a middle ground, that is not me versus you, but us versus the problem. You are called manipulative. Facts. Being the I good don't understand one, that one, but yeah. Being the good one gets, <laughs> gets you punished. Side eye. <laughs> being the good one gets you punished simply because for them, a good relationship is them always getting their way. And when you are too good, when you are too patient, then you're after his or her money. Or we. When you put your foot down, you are too controlling. It must always be happy. It must. It was. It must always be happy to the relationship, pleasing and perfect at all times. Anything else is a sign. <laughs> it's a flag. Red it's flag. A flag. Red flag. Mercury is a retrograde. <laughs> Damn Bro, what does that shit mean? <laughs> I don't know. Mercury is in retro. Is it a is star it, sign? It's a star sign thing. Star sign thing that Your only... niggas need Jesus. But continue, continue, <laughs> it's anything else is a sign that means the relationship is not working out. 
So we don't try at all to make things work. We just ship out at the first inconvenience. We lack its individuality as we have as we have been groupies all our lives. Facts. Group, yeah. Ooh. When we come face to face with individuality, it feels like an attack on us. Facts. You could be as loving as a pet or as doting as a painter's brush stroke, as precious as a saint in meditation, saint in meditation. But she slash she will still judge you on the preconceived notion that she or he had had about your kind. So you are not dating them anymore. You are dating your friends too. You are dating their friends too, both offline and online friends. Navigating de- navigating dating traumas that you did not cause <laughs> and have nothing to do with you as a couple. Hmm. Too much power struggle. Very little camaraderie. I want to give this person a call. I, I, I keep forgetting. It's personal. Come on, but spot on. Bro. Spot on. Mm. Spot on. And you know the word is. Bro, I can't. It's for men as well. It's from what? It's for men as well. It's it's, for men as well. It's it's, no, 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 has on our relationships and just general. I hear you. Know, you. Like, that's hear that's you. you're not young, except. I hear you. No, I'm, no, general. No, I'm just in general. Don't worry. Except on it. Except on it. Except generally. Generally, don't worry. I'm even telling you something that there are some opinions that you have. Someone said something. Another person said, "Do you know that on this on this same thread, but a different response?" Somebody said, in response to that question of dating now, someone said, "Do you know how wild this is that some of the things that your girlfriend or your boyfriend says is their red flag?" It's from it's social what, media. Yes. It's not your red flag. Yeah. But social media has TikTok. This is a TikTok. TikTok told her or told him that it's a red flag. So now that has become their red flag. This thing is more prevalent to women. I don't think so. No, I think it's for men as well. <laughs> I think it's for men. I think men do it. Yes. I, th- I think I, am I think saying we, I think we it men. is more prevalent with women. Okay, more prevalent. I hear you. He said, he said, he said more, more prevalent sure? with women. I agree. More. more. So it's bro, not, it doesn't exist with men. Yeah. Everything is a flag, is a banner, is a flagpole. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. <laughs> everything from, is a problem. That, everything is a sign. Every, nah, dog. That, wait, could it be? Wait, God is telling me that. Could it be? And that? the first sign of and the I've seen I, it's prevalent to women and the first men, sign of men too, bro. I, 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 the I, first, I, I found myself confronting stuff like that. No, 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 bro. No, no. But we men always too because, have to because of now, especially like using myself as an, as an example. I know Once I, I see similar pa, similar traces of past traumatic events. <laughs> Jaffa, Jaffa, <laughs> no money oh, in there. The There's some things the that matter, we should never so, experience twice. Because no, why? The reality of the, the, the reality of the situation is also we also need to be aware. Self-aware. Not just self-aware, aware. Like a sense of importance, a sense of timing. Like there are some times when I don't know who was tweeting something like that. There are some times what there are some times when you date two people that have the same traits the reason might be the, might be why you broke up with the first person right mm-hmm. but sometimes the second person you have more capacity to, deal with to handle it at that time you have and grown you need to trust yourself you have grown you have grown you understand? You some exes train you yeah to be a better partner trust yourself word because it, it, it feels like at that point you are now understanding of the fact that maybe this is not a red flag maybe it's just something that can be worked on that some of you not- listening to this you are nodding your head nobody train you anything you are fucking useless <laughs> you are toxic you are wicked sick <laughs> Jesus out and, and you need thera- <laughs> you know, I have you also realized therapy, something yeah. that the most people that refuse to get therapy the most the people that, that the say most. that they don't need therapy are the ones spending their time Sending other so people to like, therapy like you trauma. are the reason people are going to therapy but you think you don't need therapy therapy became popular speak do you Fast, understand like it became yeah pop culture it was like it became like this cool thing oh you know you gotta you go to go therapy. Therapy. Uh, not in nigeria though ah. at what point did it become with popular the, with the, people are therapy, with the no, people are going to therapy with the therapy. With social media people at least twitter people not insta blog though <laughs> 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 
We need more Nigerians in those places. Uh, Are you joking? I agree. And just don't go to any therapy. The next thing they'll take that ah, don't worry about you. Don't worry about what. The one I'm self therapizing. If I don't, the one, if I don't the one that, get out the of one here. that annoys me the most uh, is a woman that doesn't have a mind of her own aside from her friends. I think that's the biggest red flag. For What's that? Grading. Please say that. I don't hear. When a woman doesn't have a mind of her own, except for a her mind of her own. But okay. the point that I got recently was people that have been with her for a long time. So like, they know. So she trusts them more. So she trusts them more. They've been with her for. And they've seen her in multiple like scenarios her, and whatnot. But the reality of the matter is also, if you are not careful, if you are not careful, people will project their own trauma on you. And if you are not careful, and number two, I'm people say that don't want to lose their friends, like you know. A friend that has been trusting you all her life. Ah. What to do, do? I wanted to catch me there. Mm-hmm. It's factor. Mm-hmm. A friend that has been trusting you all her life. A friend that has been trusting you. A fantastic movie. I'll come there. Yeah, a, a fantastic movie. A fantastic movie. So, so, like, a friend that you have trusted all your life. Yeah. yeah. They are, like, they are your friends. Anything that happens to you, you are telling them in your friends. Yeah. A man is sleeping with you, you are telling them. Yeah, you're getting with you're telling them you got yeah. a job you're telling them your salary they know it okay. yeah yeah guys stay tuned don't go anywhere we're still here the conversation continues if you miss any of what we are saying during the break catch it all on monday on youtube and other podcast streaming platforms don't go anywhere we're still here so like but now you have a boyfriend yeah. so we're talking about um relationships and navigating relationships you know With the friends, influence of friends. tiktok the influence of social media the influence of your friends where you supposed to do when we come back uh, are we not back we well, just boy. went i hate this rubbish bro. <laughs> what the hell <laughs> what the are you people fucking joking <laughs> i thought we just came <laughs> back in i don't tire i beg i beg i beg i beg <laughs> so um you're not what you were what you were telling your friends before now you're telling your boyfriend. Mm. Your friends are gonna feel a type of way. Not true. No, yeah. Facts. Not your friends true. are gonna feel a type of way. The kind of things I tell my boyfriend and the things I'll tell my friend are not the same. No. There are a lot of things you tell your boyfriend, your partner more things than you tell your friends. So that's just facts. Except your partner is not your partner. Except your partner is not your friend. You have more interaction you with your partner anyway. You have way more interaction with your partner than your friends. Me, yeah. It's just what it is. Like there are things that are happening there and then that your friend knows about. So I, I also from the partner knows about yeah in the moments like updating and everything. I also feel like one of the da- I, w- about the dangers of that is you you might get into that loop where the opinions you're having are not your opinions. No, that's that's. And problem. also you might get into a, a very dangerous loop of not being able to make decisions on your own mm. or not trusting yourself enough to make certain decisions without someone's input. Yeah. That's a very slippery slope. Where you feel like before you make any, you need to ask her, "Am I making the right decision?" At some point, you need to trust your decision. You need to trust your it. opinion. You need to trust your gut, and also trust that if you're making a mistake, you're making a mistake. You can't always give that on another. You can't always be safe. Yeah, yeah. I think that's safe. what we. I think that's what we. So because we have over, I don't think we have over. Over is not the word, but we've talked a lot like about trauma. So everybody has. Some More awareness, awareness about trauma yes. and what it's like. And toxicity. Like, I beg, I'm avoiding, I'm avoiding. But I know yeah. that a lot of people are also over bloating the influence of trauma in their lives. Uh, some, some people, nobody. Explain that, explain that. Like, they are foolish. A lot of you people, are just a foolish person. It's not trauma. That's, that's your maybe, problem. Maybe not foolish. No, you know that. No, some of them are foolish. Yeah. Right? But, <laughs> but the reality of the matter is some people also don't know when to release themselves from the shackles of trauma Tolani, it's not even not knowing when to release yourself from the shackles of trauma take, take some power for yourself let me it's not even that it's that some people now weaponize the trauma so much yeah. that they don't feel the need to improve themselves it has now become your personality yeah. not your problem yeah. 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 do you understand it's the way you now make your mental health problems your personality, your personality as opposed to a problem that needs to be eradicated yeah. because if you realize that you have trauma no. or you that have she's, she's on smokes today please if you realize that you have trauma you have mental health issues why is that your personality oh why didn't you do that my mental health are you working on it or you want to sit down there for the <laughs> rest of your life worry. like worry. what are you doing so now people are now wearing like a cloth and say oh i understand that you're traumatized i understand that you have mental health issues are you working on it or is it your personality now or do you or, or are you just also using it to avoid, avoid accountability? Yeah. Every day they are Jesus with, they are Christ. With, every day they are with the gun. 
We be going every day. I'm Why did you do that? Eh, my mental. I'm triggered. Okay. I'm triggered. Okay. Ah. Okay. It's still has a real life situation. Ah. God. Everything is trigger. <laughs> Everything right, is though. trigger. Ah. So please, it's, it's not enough. Then also, they now use that self awareness thing where they say, "I I'm aware of my trauma." You're aware, so. Next, the one that I. <laughs> You're aware. That, that so what is the solution? It? I, this is who I am. If you don't take me as oh, I am, come I and beg, be going. Beg, That's part of what that guy is saying. You are, you are, you, you, are, you, are, you are hmm. foolish. You know another thing that, Please. you know another thing that growth, that uh, aging is, the food like gr- growth is teaching me, you need to adapt to relationships, man. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like take me as I am. Take oh, you yeah. away. You need to adapt to the realities of being with somebody. Take What's, you Imagine know, if the whole world takes you as you are truly. Uh, excel. And then take you what? Did you see, did you guys see? Okay, that's like, that's, that's like people have of, horrible friends and don't hold them accountable or correct them. Or your friend just say any little to your friends are telling you leave that nigga, leave that babe. Or if you're telling you it's okay, it's not okay. It's you not are okay. wrong. Yeah, your friends should okay. argue these things out and try to get better. Shout Man. out to all of you acting like relationships don't matter to you. It they doesn't matter to some people, Sha. Don't people don't care for to it. You. Marriages don't matter to you. <laughs> you guys, whatever you like Shout to say. Shout out to all of you that some people are actually doing don't care. Twitter. Shout out to people that uh, shout out to people that, uh, that doing uh, it on Twitter and end up becoming second wives. Uh, I end up now knocking somebody so they silly. become second wives. And it, yeah, uh, if you like, okay. Shout out to all you niggas. Take me as I am. All you niggas. <laughs> Take me as I am. Um, this whole conversation just reminded me about um, the OG Usher. Hmm. and uh, Kiki Palm. Before, 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 before we get to that, let's uh, we're back. All right, guys, welcome back. If you missed any of that, Melody, would you like to fill them on? on, 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 <laughs> on what we're talking you. about? <laughs> so we're talking about relationships and we're talking about the influence of social media, the influence of your friends, and trauma. lack of identity, weaponizing your trauma and wearing it as a cloak and your personality instead of seeking help. Every, got everybody needs to your clap for Melody. She got to see. Woo! All right, back. So, yes. Uh, what we need to Palmer. talk about. No, before we get to Kiki okay. Palmer, you guys see the video of the surgeon that came home after a 12 hour shift? 13 hour shift. 13 hour it. shift. Oh. A surgeon came home, if a, a black American, I think. Yeah. She came home after. She fine, no. Ooh. She fine. She came home after a 13, because if you come home after 13 hours. And you look okay, that way. What do you look where you're not stressed? She came home after 13 hours and made a video that, okay, I'm back from my 13 hour shift. Even it's still in her scrubs. Mm-hmm. And she went into the kitchen and she started cooking for her husband. Her husband. Um, now, context, she did not say if her husband requested for it. She did a video after, actually. Oh, Saying that what? Um, she did a video. She said, said she enjoys cooking or something. She said, number one, that everybody in the studio, she thanked them sarcastically. Oh, yeah, but they knock her. The, Omar, the beginning they, is that they when that video her. came out, they knock her. They oh, knock her oh. and they knock her husband. But I don't understand husband, why. So and listen, calm husband. down. Uh, let me give some perspectives. So like, after that, she said, number one, that she enjoys cooking. Mm-hmm. That nobody should say rubbish at, at, about her husband. Okay. That her husband is very supportive. Of her. That is a great husband. Yeah. Right? She said it like twice or three times. And like she said that she doesn't like when he cooks. I think she even said that she doesn't like when he eats outside. Okay. That she likes to do the cooking. Okay. And she wants to do the cooking for him. Something yeah. like that. That's her decision. <clears throat> That's her decision. Okay. Right? Now, my first problem with that, do you know it? What? Why is it on, why is it on TikTok? Why is you cooking for your husband on TikTok? Why did, well, why did people have known it was after a test now shift? So what was she trying to do with that conversation? That's the point. What were you trying to achieve with saying test? No. You were also trying to, what were you trying to you do? You were trying to get content now. Yeah. Oh, 13 hours. You were trying to she perform. Because you were doing that to definitely <laughs> get attention. <laughs> He's on a backlist. You... <laughs> like, what are you trying to do? What is this with people? What is this with people? People and wanting to put their their entire relationship online. This you know oh, this baby and, and her husband have a joint account where they share their love. The husband is also a doctor. So that means that they are YouTube couple now. You why, social media couple? Why like, you the bother? Leave you them. are a fucking soldier. So she knew Get what she life. was doing. She knew what she was doing. I beg. Leave those ones. She no, 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 no. John, where they TikTok? Like what the why the fuck where did we have to know? Your death mortality. There are certain things that we don't even have to know. <laughs> Like, like because people, there's only one way people are going to react to that thing there's only one way there's she only knew what one she way. was doing you've already said 13 hours she's making it seem like you're tired and people are fighting for you babe. Like, it's too long for you to be working and come back home which is the right thing to say but here's another thing that I got from that yeah number one people need to stop judging relationships based on 30 seconds clip and, and based on captions people need to 
Mind your business. Also, stop trying to impose their life yeah, principles on other people. On other oh, no, people. I'm getting there. Calm down. Especially like, your your comrades. Who are my comrades? My, women. Marriage. Because marriage, even after she explained, they still did not come. Marriage is about but partnership. You cooking after and everybody hours? has a role to play, right? And before people get into the too long to learn. Wait. What? Thirteen hours. After thirteen hours, you're cooking. And everybody has a role to play in the marriage, right? And before they, I, I, I feel like people forget that the entire purpose of feminism is for a woman choice. to do what she likes. It's choice. Ooh. I was, was going to say that anyways. Ooh, it's choice. That. You can't use activism to, to scrub out choice. But I also get the point of why a lot of people hate choice feminism in the sense that, but a lot of women are doing things that are still detrimental to, to women to womanhood. Do you understand? I get it. That because they don't is, know yes, better. It's layered. I get it. It's very layered. Because sometimes you even do something wrong. You know how way it is wrong. Or somebody comes to tell you. So tell sometimes you, you have to wrong. question is your choice your choice? Yeah. Was your choice being influenced by society and grooming and oh, all so of those? Your choice being influenced by wokeness too, which is also very destructive. Nguanu. Nguanu. You understand? <laughs> like all these things. I feel like people should. Like, let's leave it at choice feminism because anything after that, we are all just going to keep fighting and countering each other. Do you understand? So, coming back to this, partnership, everybody comes to the table with something. This baby is a lawyer that's probably in her elite. I mean, doctor, a doctor. in her elite. So, she understands all these wokeness points. Probably a feminist, even. But, and before she got into the marriage, she understood what she was getting into. And she made a choice. And she made a choice. And we don't know, like everybody comes into, and what well, this is what I replied to some shout out to Ryan Soros that asked me the question yesterday. This is what people need to understand when when people come into relationships. Someone has an excessive um, request or expectation somewhere, something that every other person will find reasonably excessive. But to you guys is okay. But you guys is okay. You guys, oh, she I'm sure the, the guy, the, the guys who is filling up one of our excesses somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Do you understand? That's fair. That's fair. But also, let's not forget that it's okay for people to also question your choice because sometimes people say things like, oh, I chose to stay in that situation. Doesn't mean the situation is healthy. And I agree. sometimes I agree. you don't even know that you are in a very unhealthy situation until you're told. We've seen women, not even women, we've seen people have these conversations on social media where they are defending something with their life, with their blood, and someone comes to point out the, pro- the potholes and the problems in that, and they begin to see it. Why? I see your point. Okay. I think people should mind their business more. And people should just be dying or making wrong choices or staying in situations they shouldn't stay in. I think people should because uh, it's. Uh, I see your point, Sha. Yeah. I just see your point. Sometimes we have to edu- educate and say, bro, I see your choice, but this is not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, but that's not how you people do it on the internet. Now. People don't come and say, I see your choice. People <laughs> ah, say, God, come out of choice. the trenches of, the, of the, the, this thing. Uh, stop being a patriarchy princess. So you go with condescension and knock your yeah. fellow women. It's all you. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. So yes, the good sister Kiki Pama. Um, In the video, cosplaying. Clearly, it's not a fan of Michelle Obama. Why? Because Michelle Obama said, "When they go low, we go higher." <laughs> she did the opposite. When they go low, we dig six feet more, <laughs> deeper still. Um, Double down. Usher has a new song, a new video for new boyfriend. Song, a new video called Boyfriend, and um, she's cosplaying as Usher. She's cosplaying as, as Usher. Usher. Usher's babe. No, she's, no, she's no, cosplaying she as Usher. She's dancing. She's, she's doing dancing, the whole. She's doing Usher's move. She's yeah. She's doing she's Usher. Usher's dance move. She's Usher in the video. Yeah. Um. Once and, again. and there was a cheeky line. What was the cheeky oh, line? What's the cheeky line? I can't remember. She said, "Okay, so at the beginning of the video or something, she was, she was going on and on and on." She said, "Because I'm a mom." Like, but I'm a oh, mom but too. I'm a mom too. Oh, that's not okay. how. Uh, but I'm a mom ex, though. But I'm a, what, yeah, but I'm a That's, what he, that's what he said. That's what, that's what her ex said. He just has unfortunate. I, I saw the whole thing and I was like, shout out to that child because hmm. that's the He's going to grow up and see this. Eh? No, it's not. There's nothing wrong with the thing. It's the relationship between the father and mother. I'm telling you. That's affected. Don't, bro, bro, bro. The guy is going to wake up and see think, what his mom is doing. I don't even think the, the boy will be proud of And see what his mom did. What his mom did. His mom and his dad. Yeah. Both of them. No, we know that the, the guy messed up. Now the guy draw first blood. Yes, yeah. he messed up. So I don't the think the boy will be ashamed up. of his mother. He should be ashamed of both of them and how they've been able to navigate. <sighs> more, yeah. I, I wouldn't want my it's mother. It's not an issue of ashamed. That boy is going to. It will take God, child. They might settle. They might settle. Even they don't so, settle. Yeah. I don't think it's. I, I, I also I want to. Be okay. I don't think anything that will affect him all the way. I want, I want to. I want to. I want, yeah. to, I want to attach some principles that I, that I've been attaching when it's 
fits my agenda, okay. which is we don't know what's going on in the relationship. We don't know the full scope of the cook. Of the relationship. It might be a, a promotional you stunt. You don't understand. Be, no, no, point, like, no. We don't even know whether the boy was has, has been emotionally manipulating the baby. You know what happened before that day. Happening we before don't know that. the triggering. Why she, why, she, why she just came out and, you know, Why she came out. You guys, don't change the narrative. No, that's... Trigger just sarcasm. <laughs> but anyways, so people started knocking her for the video. I don't know. Oh, they anyway. don't pull the trigger on the Fuck homies. You. But the boy came out and put out a statement. The boy put out a statement saying that he hasn't that nobody should speak on his behalf and all of that. Nigga. Oh, he did. He did. He Why were people necessary. speaking on his behalf? People were saying that he said he's done. Abi, he has left the village. All those plenty, and they said the reported story. Fine. Anyway, the OG Saint Obi was buried today. RIP. Rest in peace, Saint Obi. Um, moving from that, I saw a tweet from Old Man Ebro. I saved it because he called my Ebro attention. One. Yeah. yeah, he said I got a call saying it should be noted many many major record labels have deprioritized signing rappers. The focus is now African music and Latin, Latin. music. Rappers better stop being boring and talking about the same shit over and over, chasing TikTok success and comment sections. Do you want to ask? You want to ask? No, 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 no. My my journalist friend. Yeah, foolish. Um. So this is the first downtime that hip hop has ever had. Hmm, as deep as this. And we have not even seen the depth of it yet. Yes. So there's a there's a breakdown that happened. And if you have not listened to that episode of Trap It, so go and listen to it. So by numbers and by releases, mm-hmm. right? Hip hop is still the biggest genre. Hip hop R and B is still yeah, the biggest still. genre of, of music in terms of revenue, in terms of a lot of things. It's still the biggest. It's just that by moments, even longevity. No, not even that. Like, not even that. Like by moments, like number one albums, number yeah. one singles, okay. smash it records. Mm-hmm. Like hip hop really peaked between 2016, 2015, and like 2020, which is like a strong era of Drake, where you're seeing number one single, number two single. Back to back, just back, the, to back just right? Go. It's not been happening as much anymore. Yeah. Um. So what's the what could be the cause of that? What are the causes of those things? In your opinion? Um. Music is trash. <laughs> Which of the music now? Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. And do you think it's because so this, this is this is what I want to say about that? Of course, you I saying, know where you're going. You saying hip hop is trash, music is trash. Do you think it's because of the what did what did Ibro say again? He said they are always sticking to. Please read that. He topic. said they are still saying repeating the same shit over and over, and they are chasing TikToks and TikTok success and comment sections. That's why. That's why. That's the, music the yeah. Is that, that's, that's, his own down. that's his own diagnosis. Okay, so I agree with him because at the end of the day, I, I feel like I have been saying this thing that hip hop. Oh, people oh. have been saying it. Ah. Abri, 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 give me one. Give Abri, 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 <laughs> like, I have been seeing it. I don't know. I don't have anything against yeah. Abri, 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 but uh, for how long? So, Everybody cannot be doing music tailored to TikTok. Can like, I, can, can I, can I, can I talk? Hip hop has watered down. Can I speak on this? Yeah. Fuck your shit, bro. Melody, hip hop. If you want to talk about, if you want to talk about, so TikTok is the new MTV. So back in the day, there was MTV. Yeah. There was video culture. Yeah. One, two. When it comes to topic, hip hop has pretty much been the same for years. Yep. Gun violence, drugs. It's pretty much been the same. Like people that go. That, that speak about deep shit, they call them conscious. Yeah. It's pretty much been the same. Yeah. So I don't think the t- argument of topic really falls in. No, I don't think so. And, the trap, yeah. and the trap thing that you're talking about, trap prolonged the life, lifespan of hip-hop at the top. I, trap is responsible for the reason why hip-hop made it to the top of the top. Undisputed. Yeah. It is. This trap music that everybody's what not. What you mean by made it to the top? Of the because top. it's the one Doing that numbers. got. It's the one that got. The aside from the era of like the Fifty Cent. I was about to say and that. The Diddy's yeah. with. But fam, hip hop made it, um trap mainstreamed hip hop in terms of white consumption. I, I hear you when you say that. And made white it more consumption. Appealing to white them. consumption because people wanted to live the life. People wanted to wear the blings. People wanted to have the grills. Girls have been, but like the lifestyle of trappers, yeah. people wanted to dress like that. People wanted, yeah. like, and then the drugs thing. Not even the fact that people are selling drugs, the fact that they are consuming drugs, 
I hear you when you, you say know? that. And also made it more, more white boys love. Made it more appealing to maybe the younger audience yeah. than Gen Z. And yeah. I hear you when you say that. Of all races. I hear you. I hear yeah. you when you say that. But so now, where do we go? So like every genre has a downtime energy. I think As that thing. I agree with them when they say of that course, the, it's just, it's just the, the, the tiktokalization of hip hop. Digitalization of music. Made, what about the death of You know, TikTok has not made a hit in a while. Do you know how wild it is that you're, like, you're about to listen? Do you know how wild it is that you're about to, you're about to sing a song? You want to sing, you want to, you want to, sing, you want to, sing, you want to drop a record and you go into the studio and you are looking for, you're counting the seconds to know what will enter. Really, the that's thing. the era that we're in. Okay, yeah. so none of that's what are they done. Where do you go next? Because some people are thriving still. It works for some people now. Some people are some thriving. People, some people is, it, money. is it sustainable? It's not about, yes. If something was working, so where, for you, so where is this genre? Of music? Straight, so, okay, so, so, so where is this genre now? It's to go down and come back up. Okay, let's wait. That's not. It's going to come back up. It's so going let's come wait. Back up now. I think that hip hop as a genre of music, the one of the one of the most beautiful things. The people, about, that, the people that are suffering now are just victims of the time. Yeah. I think that one of the most beautiful things about hip hop as a genre of music is the depth. Is the is the storytelling depth has always been subjective when it comes to it. yeah I hear you but I think it's the depth I think it's the storytelling I think it's the genre that people pay attention to what this person is saying it's like how I see how people are shouting about double on I know I'm not the biggest skinny but people double will, on people on, on, double on oh my god he said this oh my god he said that that's is something that people have always been big on when it comes to that genre of music. Like people tell you things like, "Oh, but for you, you to know, understand." People, you now let me people, wait. Now let me. No, no, let, I don't know that. You know, people say the same thing about the Migos, like bars. Wait, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying trap stars don't have bars, okay. right? I'm not what I'm trying to say. I no. get what you mean. I'm not, I'm not trying to I'm say trap stars. Advocate. Yeah, I'm playing what I'm trying to say that that genre of music is people, people, um, people applaud the lovers of that genre of music. People automatically see people that love hip hop as smarter, as smarter than the regular people because of the level of depth that comes with hip hop. It's like how we have conversation about Afrobeat and say, why are you mad about somebody's lyrics? Why are you mad about Apulebule or Amalashita or whatever? Why are you mad about the lyrics of Afrobeat? Because Afrobeat on its own is not very big on should <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say Afrobeat on its own is not no, very no, big no 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 Afrobeat as a genre of music use your words black woman <laughs> Afrobeat as a genre of music is not it's very it's not big on intelligence it's not <laughs> wow it's more of the melodies can you guys wow. hear me it's not, big on, it's not big on intelligence <laughs> it's okay. more of the melodies and it's the fun it's an Olodo genre so now, if you're not saying <laughs> Well, if you're well, not saying, well, that's not what I'm saying. Well, if you're not saying that a genre of music like hip hop should not be watered, it has not been watered down so much that people are not looking for TikTok numbers and uh, TikTok cuts, TikTok this, TikTok that. I, I think that 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 has affected hip hop as a genre of music because it's watered down music, of music. version of whatever. No, it's the reality of where we are. Okay, I hear you, but is it, is it TikTokization affecting <laughs> TikTokization? Is it affecting Afrobeat? No, it's not. It's, it's Af- not. No, no, no. Because see, you can't compare hip hop and Afrobeat. No, I'm saying that the TikTok. See, pop the reason why it's not going to affect Afrobeat is because there's nothing there before to affect. No, <laughs> no, yeah. it, no. It, it's because it it, it it affected not on a grand scale, but like in here at home, like it did what? affect. It, it affected, bro. No, it's affected. Like, but context now. Everybody would plan their songs around TikTok. Your song must come with TikTok viral dance it's, and sped up version. But, the, but that's the reality, bro. But guess what? As much as it is the reality, it started taking away from the art. People now started focusing more on these gimmicks than that the quality music. That's what I'm saying about hip hop. And as a genre of music, it cannot survive bro, on gimmicks. When MTV I don't think came, when mm-hmm. MTV came, people complained that what are the quality of videos? That MTV, MTV yeah, than what are the quality How? of videos? Like at the time, it was a conversation. It was a conversation. Like it changed the way people used to make videos. Yeah. For for the positive. For you, because we're born after 1986. Yeah. You, you didn't meet the ori- what you videos didn't the were like, like pre. What it was what pre. Yeah. Were like, pre like, MTV. People, like people were claiming like anytime anytime something mainstreams a form of art, yeah. people think people think it waters down the quality. But to be to 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 follow up my point, like it didn't even last so long like that thing is almost dying here that whole tiktok viral dance when last did you see a big artist use like soft to do campaigns because you can't afford soft no. bro. big artists i still see it. big artists no they see they see they use soft they big use soft, artists though. who see they use soft who now give me an example i can't i don't want to mention names because they now do. it's going to i'm going to be revealing that they are doing marketing and the audience is from. not dumb bro the audience knows like yeah. the audience knows now this is one of the most interesting things about this era is 
the audience, for the your audience has the, the, up. the audience has yeah. caught up. They see a song on number five and they're like, Why is it there? The audience, and they people know, know now. People they know, know the gimmicks, yeah. So they now know. it's not the forms, bro. It's not a it's not, not, not bell in the cast situation. It's not anyway. So um like about the Afrobeats and the difference between Afrobeats and hip hop. I think hip hop has tried. Very much for 50 years. Jesus. Hip hop has tried. Like hip hop needed trap, emo, trippy trap. Like drill. drill was what was what was meant to take over from trap and take hip hop to another another five to what's ten even years. Going on with that, but the problem with drill is drill yeah. is too one dimensional. Like what's good? I it's thought too one dimensional. Was gonna... The flows are very hard to, to understand. Do you understand? Like it's it's, it's to repeat the, or the I don't know to consume. Drill is not following the music but the people that can do drill well oh i agree i agree but the culture like hip-hop trap culture followed trap music drug culture followed boom bap does that make sense like yeah. gangster is a followed boom bap yes, yeah right yeah, did. the era of sampling early era was niggas trying to move with r&b yeah, yeah. Cutting, cutting up do you understand now what's the culture of drill is like it's, it's it comes from violence but you niggas don't want violence bro like the, there's no culture that follows dream i know that the jo- as good as the music is the life how do i explain this the essence of drill doesn't permeate for long enough for it to have long lasting impact drill yeah like doesn't. the essence of drill music doesn't permit like there are one of one or two records that can do that and that's when the producers go to war and when the rappers actually do rap inside it like one of the reasons why sprinter is going crazy is because the amount of quotables on that song is crazy it's ridiculous it's bonkers so it's not just that people are dancing people are also reciting the lyrics yeah. bro. so it can stay but a lot of drillers and people are rapping off beats on drill man shut the fuck up that that entire rapping off beat thing i will never understand it <laughs> what are you doing how like, do people enjoy blue face, like man? sometimes how i'm enjoy blue face i'm listening to it and i did you make a mistake did you want to take, do you want to take it back do you want to this is the producer too fast they slow it down what are, i'm like no that's the style mm-hmm. which style to be honest I, I feel for them because it's very hard to stay on the brill on, on the beat on drill records. Ah, it's very hard, especially if you are going with the flipping style. I'm big, Bro, I'm it's big. very hard because drill requires a specific type of technique Nigeria and the amount enough. of flows that you can go to, go with on drill. It's probably like five or six. Nigeria is hard enough. I know. I know. Guest strength. So, like, I think. Hip hop is coming down right now. So it's going to come back up very soon. It's just okay, it's just a matter of time. It's right. a matter it of is. time. It is. It is. It's going to come it back is. up. It is. It is. It's going to come back up. It is. Let's talk about um, what are we missing? So please, did, did you guys see the conversation? No, the fine topic for us. Did you guys see the conversation of that guy that was getting dragged? What guy was getting dragged? That posted this wish list for his house. Hey. I saw that, you know. And apparently what happened was... Um, you said he was... Transfer. First of all, those guys had a beautiful wedding. They very, were, like, very really low key. Like very. So apparently, I, people small... on my Instagram know them. So I, I saw their videos a lot on yeah. feed, a couple on um, stories a couple of days ago. I saw like a lot of them, and I watched one. They had like a small, I think very TLF small couple. in a garden. That's TL Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, children. They're like in a TL, in a in a garden. Yeah, I was <laughs> in a garden. It was it was beautiful. So my yeah. first time i encountered the video i was like oh such a nice couple such a nice wedding cute only for me to come a few days later and that those cute people were being ravaged <laughs> on the timeline hmm. by we'll hyenas by digital <laughs> hyenas <laughs> who have no joy at home welcome to the land of the hyenas who have hmm. no joy at home so apparently Charles, Charles Sway. they posted their wedding on twitter and people started reaching out to them telling them that they should put out they're like people in there oh really that's what they them. said People who know them, some of the people who even did, who did, came on Twitter and said, "Listen, I told them I'm one of those people that said, put out a wish list." So, what yeah, do you people, want? people, so that people were saying that you should have sent it to the DM. No, uh, it's somebody asking you for create, something. Create person. a WhatsApp group. Yeah, that's Can what people were with... saying. That so, if my friend should ask, like, okay, Tonani is okay, like now, Tonani is asking me, I need something from you. Yeah. So my response to Tonani is asking me that I should, he wants to buy me something, is to create a wish list. Fair, like, you guys are actually right because the first <laughs> thing there is me. that I would say, people like if you see a wish list you don't mess with it or you're not on look 
keep it moving. Like, keep it but moving. then again, whatever you bring into the public space I, wait, wait, wait. Belo- now belongs to the if public you, space. If you walk naked to the market square, <laughs> you go don't be angry when you get dragged to the asylum. You go feel what, the, what the fuck is that? You know, ah, just Peter, Peter Doshie type. I, I, I hear you, but I also <laughs> feel like. Ah! Shut up. I don't feel bro, 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 all, the, all the quotes in Rubbish. Jagun Jagun. Let's not go no, no, let's not let's 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 we're dragging them unnecessarily and saying things that are very unnecessary like are we going to crowd for, crowd fund for your baby are we going to crowd fund for your life blah 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 but I, you I people that... will do it for big brother yeah you crown for big brother <laughs> you crown for their sister yeah you crown but, but, but so in, those, in that situation people associate it with success people like associate it with success yes it's not the same and also let's not let's let's a young couple coming together to marry in this economy is a success and (laughs) guys i feel like well sometimes we get blinded by our privilege that we don't understand some certain things that we think certain things that we think is or things that we we feel are normal people are struggling with it there's nothing wrong with a young couple struggling to get true hold hold that hold that that let's go on a break guys we're going on a break we'll be back shortly remember the full audio and video comes out on monday catch that if you're still watching if you're still here with us pop central tv don't go anywhere we'll be back after this break because there are young people they're just starting out life the fact that you got it easier it does not really twitter has skewed our reality so much that we think everything is just roses but but so i don't know how to say this because like i, I didn't want to even in my even in a private conversation that i was having yesterday i yeah. found it hard to address it because i didn't want to Want it to seem like I was shaming somebody. Yeah. Do you yeah, understand? Yes. I didn't want it to make it seem like I, I'm shaming you because you now. Don't have. Do you understand? Yeah. I, I found it very hard to speak about it. Yeah. The only Even thing privately. I blame them for is they, they have no sense of right and wrong. Hmm. Just because people can put wish lists on Twitter for birthdays yeah. doesn't mean you can do it for your marriage. It's not the same. Do you understand? It's not it's the same. It's even false equivalent. Do you understand? And what they said, what they did in that tweet was that they said they did it for their wedding as well. They did. I saw people say though. that. Well, I don't know. Listen, the guy tweeted it like there was a, that they are wedding to, it, but they God came. came through something like that. Ooh. Do you understand? Like, so remember the first heist was successful. It came for, <sighs> it came for, a, came for it came Jagu. for a sequel. What people were saying is is not wrong. People, what people were saying was, I also get what people were saying. I got what people were saying in the sense that it feels like you're not ready to get married. Do you understand? Like, it feels like you're not ready to get married. So why not wait for two years? Gather your money together. But again, away, you away, know... Totally like, I like, away from this, this is not about the couple, please. This is yeah. not about the couple. Yeah, this is not about them. Me, okay. Responding to what Alani said, this is not about the couple. Responding to what Alani said about why can't you just wait for two years? You know, it's not the same with Christians, right? <laughs> they want to now Because they do need to fuck. <laughs> No, guys. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> wait. Wait. Because you can be... Tolani can be saying... Why don't you wait for the next year? Because you have met a girl today. You have already done everything today. You met... This is your those TikTok videos. I've seen her that you are. You, you people met today. She has moved it tomorrow. She has stayed where she meet the next day. She meet... She has stayed... She has stayed where she meet the third day. She has stayed cooking for you the first day. The boy has stayed going to the market with you. The boy has stayed dropping you off at work. You people are already leaving couple. It's not the same. For Christians, they have to go through... You already call everything. But for Christians, they have to go through the process. So, how long more? Let's, let's, let, let's say something aside from that they could be marrying early for many reasons maybe they are planning on jack buying yeah. I don't think so they are yeah. just I, know, I saw jack this that someone said that I hope people know that for Christians they do need to but like another thing is also like the money I didn't know about the couple I'm just what, generally saying another point that people made I didn't know about Christians I'm just making a joke another people point that people you. made was the money that you gather for the wedding why didn't you just do a sitting room wedding the, the wedding they did was actually the small. small it was a garden, small. Tolani the, was when actually. I say garden, don't it think was, love issue. It was very intimate. It was very intimate too. Oh. Intimate, pa. very intimate. They know we start. I don't still say they know. I don't know the number, but it was very video. intimate. No, my problem, my problem. I mean, I also I got the point that people are trying to make. Like, I, I don't know. Me, oh, I feel like I saw the thing and I was like, "This is what happens when you bring your things to the your your, your, no your precious things to the public space." There's no nuance. You don't bring your pearls. 
Don't there's bring no, your there's no nuance. Now everybody wants to have an opinion. Everybody wants to have an opinion. Don't bring your pearls Someone to even the bar. Said that, that that wish list they put out is not is what the, is the list that they created for themselves to for the things that they need in their house. And they put so they just out. copied and pasted. Bro. But who will listen to that on social media? Yeah, yeah, you don't bro. go. What, what, but at the same what, what time, piece, too. what piece someone off was the fact that they put pegs there. Pegs, pegs. yes. Now, you guys like you are. Didn't they, put, didn't they put a rope line that be something for spreading clothes? That's why I really believe they co- they just copied and pasted. Because who asked people to understand? buy them rope lines? Or so, whatever. but but, lines but also like more people need to calm down bro like calm down I think it's, 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 like it's, 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 it's fine to see something and move on not agree with it and not tweet anything not say anything just go it's, it's, even, fine to dis- it's, even, it's even fine to disagree Hell. and tweet it but not in a mean or condescending manner oh. why can't people just disagree no, without no, no, being think, so mean i don't think see i, I think another reality on twitter that we are imbibing so again ah. oh, wow. it goes back to the point that i was trying to make yeah about all those women that come on social media and they say they can't cook. It's because you have never had to cook in your life. You don't know what chores are. So you come on social media and now it's, you want it to become everybody's reality. It can't be everybody's reality. Do you understand? It comes back to these people. A lot of people are privileged. They don't know what it's like to not have money and have dreams. Hmm. They don't. Hmm. Usually in a country like Nigeria. They don't know what it's like to not have money there. and have dreams. Out there for you. So, uh... Anyways, Jagu Jagu, have you guys seen it? I said, except what about you? Um, I was watching my friends about sleeping and waking up, but all I can remember was I just see the son of Akara. Like I was seeing some map proverbs around Akara, and I was like, "What's going on here?" It was just so funny. Welcome back, guys. In case you missed any of that, we were talking about wish list. And now we're talking about Jagun Jagun. And now we're talking about Jagun Jagun. The full thing comes out on Monday, so please check it out. Did you like it, Tolani? But my people that watched it though, they loved it though. They actually loved Wait, it. Wait, Tony, you didn't like it? No, I haven't watched it. I plan to do so this weekend. All right, so write a review about that movie. Um, I think it was a good story. Okay. I like the way it unfolded. Mm-hmm. Um, but my grouse with it, what was my grouse with it again? I think I tweeted about it. Was that... I don't know... <sighs> So, there's, there's a thing with me and movies and detailing. Okay. Do you understand? hmm Like, in terms of the storytelling, in terms of, like, reality. For example, something that can sets me off in a movie. Exa- Excel. For example, we're talking about um, that movie, The Covenant, the richest movie. Guy Ritchie, yeah. Right? You know what, what, what the, one of the things that pissed me off about that movie, like, you were in a house. People were coming in. Like... You can see, you, you you heard on the radio that you stole from someone that you killed, one of them that you killed. Yeah. That they are looking at you in the house. But you walked out of the house and you were not going to look for them. They're not going to quack you. That's not, that's not what you do. That's, that's not what your that's first, not what you would that's do not what your first human instinct to be. Do you to be to so run. It's, counterintuitive. it's like, what so are you saying? So anytime I sit in a movie... It's like, what are you saying? That's, that's not you real. Doing? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way like, it's not adding up. Exactly. Yeah. So I, there were a lot of lack of detailing like that in Jagun Jagun. I can't I can't really can't remember, remember them now. Okay. But there were some of them like that. Um but I I like some of the performances. I like the performances of, of Femi Adi Femi Adi Bio. I think oh, it was also good again. Exceptional. I think it was very Bloody good. Bloody hell. Um he killed I thought it was it. very good. And I like the I like the angle of the what's it called? What's that person? Like the t- there's a lot of political statements in, well. in terms of tyranny, oppression. Yeah. All of that. Abuse of power. Abuse of power, yeah. yeah. Are we seeing a mainstream return of the Yoruba epic? Bro, I am I'm waiting. here this, for This is what I'm here for. I am here for it. Because there's also another one out in cinemas called uh, Orisha. I'm not I haven't sure seen it, but people have also said that's very good. Do you know why? I'm to here have, for it. People want to have jungle fever. Like, I'm even... Niggas have been too cool on social media. And, like, and guess what? Jazz is not real. So you are liberal elites. <laughs> You know, and like, even for those Yoruba <laughs> epic, for those Yoruba epic movies, you can see the level of detailing. No, you see jazz. You guys, forget <laughs> that one. <laughs> forget that one. For for <laughs> another reason why I am here for it is because for these Yoruba epic movies, you can see the, the storytelling, you can see the intentionality in the storytelling as compared to. You just go and watch Shelela. You just go and watch old Yoruba epics. Um, uh, wait, I also remember this one. Wait, please wait. I, 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 God, what's that popular one now? Erroy, not Erroy, not Erroy, I'll show you. Kotoaye. Ah, Erroy, let's, let's watch. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. We can't be talking about which movie here, please. 
Please. <laughs> please. Um, no, <laughs> did you watch Jago Jago? Is that I, know, I, said, I said I was watching but I was you know, But you know my biggest grass to that movie? I was sleeping off. This girl pissed me the fuck off. You know Philam? No. So the music was good, but they were, they were misusing it. Hmm. I, I would like to have a word with the music director. Like, for example, where that girl died. Except when you watch the movie, notice this film. Oh, well, no, the girl, Wait. don't spoil it for me. Which girl? Oh, you know, I've not finished. Oh, yeah. sorry. Mm. Which girl? Oh, where God. the girl died? Anyway. Hey! Which girl? Where the girl don't died? Don't see the girl that died. Don't see the girl that died. I, I where, where the girl spoilers. died? Oh, is there only wait. one girl that died? Wait, wait. Is it? Wait. <laughs> oh. Is it female? Is it female? Is it female? Is it that yeah. loved that. But why did you tell me? I asked, but I didn't, I didn't have an answer. But you just asked him. You shouldn't have answered. Women. Do you understand? Women. Why did you answer you now? You literally just you understand. asked a question. I was just asking for asking sake. I didn't oh, want an answer. The girl died. Yeah, she died. Don't cry when you watch it though. Aww. Anyway, so why, when she died, Excel, Such is they were playing a triumphant theme. You know what triumphant theme ah, is? Yeah. Why you pa, 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 no, 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 not that one. Not, like the, the mellow ones. Yeah. But you know the type of theme that Anzima will play at the end of a movie yeah, 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 yeah. after yeah. actor don't win yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that, that the type of it's not so there. loud it's not, the brass but, but it's, it's, you, it's very, it's it's very uplifting yeah. my guy play some dark shit this score wasn't bad in terms of the composition like yeah. I enjoyed the first score they played of the charts who, who, who directed this movie um, I think Femme Adebayo producer I, don't, I can't remember the, um, it's a Femme Adebayo movie but I don't know who directed it I'm trying to find him we should try and reach out so maybe they should have a right? Let's yeah. have a conversation with him. I would Shami love Shami. to. Plus, it's an OG. Yeah. yeah. Would, ah, his performance was exceptional. And this is the second movie. That's the second movie. So, like, what are you doing What's with this? your neck? Um, um, yeah, he did one before that, earlier. That, I can't about, remember. About, about Lee. He did one before. Too. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's on ah, So the yeah. epics are back. What's that sort of let me find it. Let me find it. It's not the first one. And that one was really amazing. People loved it so much. People loved it so, so much. Femi Adebayo. No, let me find this because there's a way I want to say it. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? Is it... Shut, shut up. What? You know, I start, we start actually switched it up. Oh, it's not here. Start bringing Nollywood people. Nollywood guys are big. Yeah. Yeah. Every time it. music industry and all streaming farms and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. What they will say, I'm not a streaming farmer, I'm a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Oh my god. I love that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a, the there's a guy. Play, yeah, uh, an arm robber. I know I saw it, but I can't remember the title of it. Is in Woko Chidu, maybe. Who is that? Shout out to you. Directed the movie. No, 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 no. I'm just hearing the guy. Who is he? The guy has sent us like four or five emails. Somebody told me that they've been sending emails and not reading them. Please read the emails. No, but I, you know, I announced it on the last episode that we'll read it. Yeah, today. let's read, let's read emails. Right, Alan is looking for the movie. Is it Woko Chidi? maybe. Um, <laughs> this guy said, Before I start, Moto, check your email. I sent you something and no be buddies. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easy guy said. That's what he started the email with. Okay. So, um, Question one, Excel, when you read what Brian was said about Igbos during the elections, ah. how did it make you feel since you walked with him and spent some time in a bar? <laughs> did you get any DM from anyone asking you to call him out like um, Koromone? Lord, that baby's foolish. Uh. Um, Excel, you didn't have to say that part though. I'm reading the email though. It's there, yeah. Digital footprint, I know. I know Adam. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Go on. Um, no, nobody reached out to me to do that, and even if they did, I wouldn't have done that. Um, Why not, though? It's just not my thing. Okay. If I see Brian Moore in real life, we'll have that conversation. That's all right. that's all. Um, I felt the type of way when I saw the tweets, you know. I haven't seen him since then. Anytime I see him, we'll have that conversation. Uh, question two, Tony, this is for you. Do you feel Terak Bala came in the wrong generation? He added his Fuji influence to his trap and it was really dope. It wasn't Fuji, it was a bad adult. In Fuji recent things. times, Shea Vibes has been heavily praised for it, but Terry wasn't appreciated very well. That's not is true. Shea Vibes doing Akpala? Shea Vibes is... Akpala influences a lot of ways, yes. But not as much as um, Terry Akpala. Terry, his own is, is kind of blended with Fuji. With Fuji, and, yeah. It's not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's a lot of Akpala influences on what Shea Vibes does, yes. Yeah. But Terry Akpala, I think... Hmm. I'm not going to... Did I, he come too early? 
No, but don't you see what the guy is saying? Actually, I get the point. Yeah, yeah I get the point. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that Terry Aquila also had his moments. Yeah, an argument could be had. Champagne shower was a hit. In a club. Yeah, but look at the longevity of these other guys no, and how long they there's stayed. There's a lot of things that happened with Terry Aquila. I need to go and play that song again, don't they? Like, a lot of things. Yeah, personal things. Yeah. 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 But do you think he showers came now though? No, but guys, I think he came earlier. Maybe a bit too early. No, but what I'm saying is all things being equal for him, it would equally have been big at that time. And I think he can still come back. Yeah. This is a good time because people are paying attention to this. Are you going to give him the um, the amount of um, investment that he needs? You know? Question three. What do you guys think about the logo Solori video that got those people overreacting and the video taking down? I think they're all foolish, man. Did we talk about it? We didn't talk about it. We're not back at the time. I have a hot take. But go on. I have a hot take. Go on. Why are we Islam? Why? Why? Why always Islam? Why always Islam? Um, that's a good question. That's a, but I don't know if you are aware that they've released another video. Yeah, they've they, they released a new they video. Released, they and they I know, it. I know. But what? That's and that's what I'm saying. Like, why always Islam? Did you see what happened in Pakistan this week? What happened? Where they were burning up churches. Yeah, I saw that. I saw uh, that on Twitter. Yeah. And shout out to Odi. Odi for real said, Islam, Islam is a religion of I said, violence. I said, I said it. It's true. Maybe so, not. No, I don't think that's... I don't... I don't Melody, mm. what part... Don't let me say that. A large part... Wait. It's, let's, let's, let's start with Africa, for example. Mm-hmm. It's like Islam came into Africa via violence. Via violence. It's what I told you. But so did... Yeah. The Christian religion in a lot of regions, maybe not Africa, I but agree with the you. Crusades but why has the violence subs, 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 uh, on, on a massive scale to has this point. been sustained in Islam more than to this point? What any religion, than, in fact? Religion. Wait, so when, when we have these conversations, my question is: is it is it the is it the religion or is it the or people the that practice the religion? I think I think there's there has to be something about the religion if it's so if is it, it the makes religion? people. I don't think that the religion. I think there's a but the, the violence is linked with the for the yeah. people that do practice. Like, they, they yeah. Your, your point yeah. is your point is even. I think where you're really getting to, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it's not all Muslims that are violent. It's not all Muslims however, that are violent. However, of all the religions in the world, Islam where has people, much where people, more. Where people they practice violence. violence in the name of their religion. Yeah, Islam they top the shots. Bro, how many how many religions have blown people up in the name of religion? Yeah, how many people don't crash? World Trade Center. Islam did top the shot. So, there's a conversation. <laughs> there's a, there's, there's an argument like, there. People are going to say it's Islamophobia, but it's not. Yeah. Instead of calling it Islamophobia... At this point, it's a rational question. Instead it's of calling it Islamophobia, Islamophobia, how Islamophobia, does Islam have a introspection? Ah, bro. Yeah. introspection and, Islamophobia you know. would be like just seeing every Muslim and saying... Oh yeah, Profiling terrorist every, or whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of what episode of. But Fox people don't know how much they are. They are because this reminds me of when I was in the like. No, no, no. Of people don't know how much of bias or whatever they have. I remember when I was in the like, girls, this guy. Like, if you had this kind of conversations, he would be so triggered because he's a Muslim. Oh, he would be so You're triggered. All, all my Muslim friends. And then the first time he, he like found that out well. that I was from Adamawa, he was like, Ah, Adamawa, Boko Haram. I'm like, Oh wow. I don't and like, like, oh, wow. So you see? Wow. So you see? So you see? Oh, that's the stereotypes are not unfounded. That's just reality. That's what everybody needs to accept. Stereotypes come from somewhere. Yeah. yeah are they bad? Yeah. Yes. Bad. You know, certain people get carried and, away. And it's not always right, so... All right, you guys should have an episode with the Loose Talk Giants and talk for like five hours. Oh, ah, bro. We get we work. Need have, we need to have some crossover episodes. Yeah, we actually I, get I work. Think, I actually think that loose talk would be a good crossover episode. That would be wild though. It'd be wild. <laughs> but loose talk, loose talk people have they Yeah, that's the thing. They're not grown as they censored. Are, they're censored. They're, they're not, so they're, censored. They're not loose anymore. They're not ah! loose. Ah! They, should call it, they should call it political talk. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And, and the kind of and the kind of the, the kind of energy but we, that But that, we should do some crossover. Yeah, wait. But the, the we should ener- do it though. The kind of energy that they are looking for. From a loose stock and us together, it's not what will happen. No, it's probably good. It's, people like depends. So AOT two, bro, AOT two, that fire, that fire, bro. AOT two is a warrior. Even Steve, you go activate small. Steve go activate. Or Sags will be like your dad. Not give you anything. Or Sags is not going to give you anything. Or Sags is no. But that's a that's a that's a good. This guy actually gave me some career advice in this email. Did you guys see some the podcast that someone said we should do crossover with? Which one? Yeah, somebody said, somebody advised that we should do a crossover episode with I said what I said. 
Oh, yeah, that would that, be nice. That's never going to happen. But well, let's consider. No, never. No, why? It might happen. <sighs> okay. You guys said um, Excel. I think you should try. You should try stand-up comedy. You're very hilarious. Thank yeah. you for thinking I'm a joke. Um, <laughs> lastly, please let Melody breathe. Don't suffocate her. I appreciate, Bro, I appreciate the fact that you guys have different opinions and apply nuance as well. It's beautiful to see in this day and age. Sorry I also, for. I just saw your password. Sorry, sorry for sending you guys an email. Um, let me go to the next one. Um, hello guys, how are you doing? So nice to have you back. The streets miss the pod a lot. Now that you guys are back, there's now something to look forward to on Monday. Thank you, guys. Um, so maybe so they go, somebody sent a fan mail talking about not knowing the next direction after graduating from university. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. And you guys said in the simplest term, be careless. That has resonated with me so much since I heard it. Basically, he knocked my soul <laughs> in my <laughs> tolerance his voice. I began to worry less and I have made a conscious decision to live in the moment and enjoy myself. That's good. And That's be careless. Good. I haven't gotten a better that advice than that in a very long time. Mm. You guys are the best. Thank you very um, much, bro. Then the guy also Shout sent us. The guy is a writer and he sent links to um, stuff he's written. He's, re- he's written, yes. Yeah. Um, sharply wanted to plug my content. I'm really in love with culture and music and I'm trying to make a career in pop. Do it, my G. Do it. Yeah. Shout out to you. We are Shout out for to you, bro. you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Strong. Um, What's the guy's name? Maybe we can tell people to go check out his articles. Okay, his name is uh, Philemon Jacob. Oh, okay. I think I know that Twitter. Philemon uh, okay. Jacob. Philemon OJ or something. something Philemon like Jacob. Philemon Jacob. Um... All right, we have another one from Tumi Olatunji. That guy. Shout out to Tumi Olatunji. Do you guys know this person? It's not that, it's not the first one that, that sent the first. Oh, that's an Igbo name. Uh, so what did Tumi say? Great to have you back. You have been... You have been instrumental in discussing difficult questions in thank you. my relationship. So this is a oh. thank you. We cast us now. Please send us your relationship questions. Let's let's, chop let's it give up, you man. a word. <laughs> let's chop well, it up. today I'm reaching out because I want some critical review from the team. I'm a creative in the diaspora, and it's been almost five years since I have been back home. Mm-hmm. Quick background: I started making music here in the US, in the US, approximately about two years ago, with some records I consider amazing, but I do not put out because I prefer to get it right. The problem is, it is hard to get people to work with from here. Hmm. But I thought to reach out to your team. Okay, okay, I would like your honest feedback on some of them. So he, so he, sent, he attached a SoundCloud link. Okay, I said we listen to that. It's plugging. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this mail is so funny. The guy titled it Una Get Lock. Say we come back. I una get lock. Una See? really get lock. So una come back. Una no come back. Una no, for don't feel I knew that that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Jokes aside, welcome back, guys. I'd been so distraught for long that I had to go releasing to 70, 75 to 85% of the of your of your episodes from in quotes the former podcast. Who is this guy? <laughs> I've seen Motolani, Excel, and Melody at different times in different settings before you guys came back. One of which was the oh, it was this was a brand event okay, that I, me and Motolani went for. Okay. Saz was a DJ. If oh, you okay. I was there now. No, not that one. So you were not there. Okay. This one, you were not there. Okay. In fact, I was coincidentally listening to the Michelle Jackson episode the week before the new Don Jazzy episode came out. Oh, wow. wow. And so when the Chi Chi joke came back, it was still fresh in my mind. Nice. <laughs> I also went back to listen to the GRV episode with a little more perspective because I did not know who GRV was at the time. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of this, by the way. Yeah. Over you know, on yeah. Twitter. I mean, shout out to us. Shout I think we interviewed, yeah. yeah. That's the work that God used us to do. It was really interesting to see how things had changed and how much of what he said in that came, conversation came or didn't come to life. Mm. I really wish y'all were around during the election season. No, we were trying to stay alive. <laughs> Before we're going to stay rubbish. Congrats on the new TV show, and I'm sure it's going to get um, better from here. I, d- I don't know about other listeners, but I'm a serial podcast listener, and these two episodes are not doing it for me. Producer, CJ. <laughs> this what? The two hours, not doing it for him. Right. There's a lot of that, by the way. Right. Guys. It's so bad. That I don't listen to the episodes on some weeks, just so that I can have two to listen to in the next week. So he did uh-uh. stack them up. 
Are you serious? As I'm speaking to you now, I've only gone about 20 minutes into the Dungeons episode. So I beg Pop Central. You can't even beg Pop Central anymore. <laughs> I beg, help us stretch the time small, even if it's only 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yes. On the days, on the days that we are, that we are on fire, we'll have to beg Pop Central yeah. to give us that one yeah. out. Even if it's not on TV. For just the audio, yeah. We can work on that. Not yeah. set in stone, but we can work on it. Yeah. The guy also dropped a feedback here for our vocal editor saying that the guy should go and be listening for whenever Montolani laughs. That Montolani laugh is very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Make it reduce her. Okay. And I said, finally, let the Gen Z breathe. I don't know what Gen Z did to you, but I'm always triggered every time you guys mention oh, songs. Oh, sorry, my and says, uh, And say our Gen Z audience will relate to this. The mo- most recent one being the Don Jazzy reference about us not knowing when he used to be quiet. I'm Gen Z by Bertie and I started listening to music so early that I don't think there's any music reference you've made that I'm not aware of. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I know it's the much younger audience you're referring to, but even though it's a pain. (laughs) Sorry. Sorry, Sorry, bro. Big blessings and keep it going, guys. Then we have... We have more. Yes. Um, We have like three or four more even so you know we can't take everything we can't take everything i'm I'm going to take one more yeah um this one says hello guys welcome back the quality of the guests is so great and i love the fact that you guys settle down with the guests to have these conversations please when will the next live show happen a friend of mine was at the live show you guys had in yaba and that's how he found out about the show and told me about the podcast then. Aww. So I've, we've been, me and that friend have been following from that f- podcast to this new one. This is amazing. And we're looking forward to the next live show. Shout this out to is you, so right, amazing. Right. So we're going to keep What's that email address, name? of course, and we'll text him. Joe anyway. White, but this, this, it's not, that's a Yaune. Yeah, maybe no, you know. You know, <laughs> you know what's right, what's this is known. So yeah, shout out to, shout out to you. Um, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be back, don't worry. Um, we'll back. What's the email again? Zero conditions pod at gmail.com. And guys, we are taking calls on this show now. Call, call in, call in, let's talk. Are we? Yeah, we producer, are. producer said no, we're not. Oh, we're he not said no, we're not. Okay. okay. All right, cool. Sorry. Let's, Anyways, do, keep let's, do, let's do emails for now because you, you guys can be chaotic. Very chaotic. Zero so, yeah. conditions pod at, at gmail. gmail.com. Dot com. Um, funny enough, funny enough, I think I just feel like. Um, you guys, the the audience, you guys have been really supportive. Amazing. Um, that is your morning podcast. Yeah, bro. That episode, oh. that episode really traveled. Like, and, traveled. That, and that's what happens shout when you your guys. guests are just ready to just be themselves and just no, have shout out to the them. audience, man. If shout you, you had done it and they didn't listen, go. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the audience. Um, if you are listening to this podcast and you still haven't subscribed to our YouTube, you're an enemy of Come progress. On. I still got messages from last week of people te- talking about telling me we're not back. I'm like, what's going we are on? We're back, please. I'm like, ah, check us out on it. YouTube, Zero Conditions Podcast. I have to go tell like two different people. Like, yeah. ah. did, you, did you see that video of that babe that was that for Richard for Pora? That uh, during the exchange of vows, and she said she was like, to obey, there's uh, for Richard the, 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 and the there's something obey. No, no, the priest said for Richard for, for Pora, and she kept she quiet. Like, <laughs> she said she said it, and then the priest said, "We had this conversation. We had the conversation during the rehearsal or something." Yeah. And she told him, "You, you are better not go broke." Yeah, but to be honest, I get. I don't think it's as deep as everybody's it's making it on social media. Then someone else said that for her to be able to say that means she does not respect her husband. Nah, um, no. Do you said do you want to be, do you want to I be mean, broke? Look, the reality is there are, there are some women that would have done it that way, but I think for her, it was. Maybe a situation of me. I, I, I believe. Pay, I believe. Pay, there's power in the talk. And it may have been even a joke. Too. Yeah, it could have it's been a joke, joke as well. It may have. Been and a, it may have and also, even in conversations where women talk about men not being broke, as a man, don't you yourself aspire to wealth? No, no but, but when you the reality is triggering for men because you want. To, yeah, money conversations are triggering, triggering for, for men, men for obvious reasons. Yeah. yeah. You grow up being told that if you don't have money, you're useless. Yeah, so, and now you are someone that you love is saying that they don't want to be with you unless you don't have money. Yeah, I see, I see, I see how triggering that can be. Yeah, yeah so oh, thank you. Mm. That's not that, this, this podcast. We went like a whole episode, no quarrel with Melody. No, she's because well, she didn't quarrel today. No quarrel, no arguing. No, uh, uh, okay, well, everyone well, just well, aligned. What about last week? You tried to, but you tried now. Where okay, did you not? You say. True. 
mental health. Nobody... Knock your, knock your, guys, I, let's I, talk about. I watched about... that clip. It's so funny because when she said they're gonna knock your mental health, Toyna said, "Bo." No, 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 no. Toyna said, "Aguero." I don't know what that rubbish. No, it's not Aguero. But say they're gonna knock her. Who's Aguero? Ah, you don't worry. It's a football reference. Every time he says rubbish, he says Aguero, Aguero. Guys, for the final topic of the day, let's talk about TikTok lives. This has to be very quick. Yeah, yeah that's four minutes. Let's I don't talk, think this is what's no, going on. No, let's talk about TikTok lives. TikTok lives. Mm. What's TikTok lives? What's TikTok live sessions. People that uh, do TikTok uh, lives. Uh, yeah, the is so good. The faith is. You have not I've seen, seen that. It. I've seen. I, it. I know what you're talking about. What's there? Are people doing? There's nothing. For, there's nothing for me to say. Okay, I do have one thing to say. The length which people go to. We don't have enough time. We need to continue let's, this conversation let's, let's next week. Maybe I need to see that. But the lens people are going to on, on social like. media for... I don't think that's what it is. I worry. I think there's a lot of arrested developments in people on social media. Generally, yeah. yes. See that arrested and development. A lot of people that don't have any social skills, they are virtual babies. Chai. Like, the things that they are attach, attra, attra, attracted to are anime characters, digital characters. They, they probably have little to no conversation with women. They are now AI girls. It's just like when it's just like when you've watched too much porn. I do, I, I forget what we call that thing. Like you, if you watch too much porn, sometimes you are attracted to men as well. You are attracted to to men as well. Wait, hold up. If you as a man, you, you watch, watch a lot porn, of porn too much. You can you can you be watch attracted straight to men. porn or straight porn too much because, as a straight man. So it's not that it doesn't for some. The the theory is you are not. It's, it doesn't mean you are attracted to men. It means that. Is it like a, the way you reset like, your brain? The with way porn? you reset your brain because you're seeing them the naked all the time. Dick, a lot of times, it looks like they're about to have sex. So when you exactly, I'm seeing things exactly. So there's a, it's like a psychological the, thing. Yeah, very interesting. Oh. Very interesting. That's that's a you can be fine again. That's a very interesting you theory. There's there's some there's a theory about it. So I need to go now check because that one of that, out. like all the things, all the people that you find sexy. Imagine you're you're a geek. All the people that are paying that girl say, um, "What's that pretty doll? I be pinky doll. That's the name of the girl." Doll. Um, the gift is so good. Uh, uh. Like that's how digital characters talk. Yeah. Game. So she's trying to sound like Game, them. I, I don't. Yes. I don't know what it is. And the, uh, and that, that girl, bro. That girl. Do you know how many that girl? That girl makes. She makes that she like makes two thousand per session. She I makes money. She makes bank. Pinky bro. doll. I be pink doll. Pinky doll. Something. She makes bank. Where Anyways, I, I thought like generally on a on a grand scale as we sign out, people are unnecessarily obsessed with sex and it's ridiculous. Because I know sex generation now. Like, calm down. There are other things like, that are going on. Sex that are back and call. Everywhere you go, there's sex. Like, on Twitter, there's sex. It's, it's tiring. It's every, like, so, yeah, but I'm, I'm happy that those girls are making bank, sir. Of, of the gigs. And I don't, on that note, we would like to remind you that Jesus is coming soon. And we're done. Jesus is coming are we, are soon. Are we done? Yes, See we you are. guys next week. Thank you for rocking with us. Zero Conditions Podcast. Still number one. See you next week. Bye.